how are y'all doing today? Welcome to today's live stream. <laughs> let's just let's just start over. <laughs> I have clothes on. What do you want? <laughs> oh my gosh, you're killing me. It has begun already. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I cannot even today. Hey, you guys. How's it going? Um, I'm fooling about the tripod. Hey, Erica. Hey, Witch and Gnome. Hey, Benjamin. It says, I have two cow skulls I would like to do something with, but what? Ooh, are they, like, fully cleaned and peroxide bleached? Or are they kind of from the field aged? Like, because my immediate go-to is to, like, do, um dot mandalas on skulls like I have never done a dot mandala but I really want to right now like for like the past like two weeks <laughs> so hey everybody hey Sabaya hey Al hey book Ooh. hitting the hitting the tripod okay let me hey Sage how are you doing today okay so in today's live stream, we are making custom wrapped rings. So it's just like last week's live stream where there's a link down in the video description or you can just go to our website backtoearthcreations.com and there's like a button. It's like shop for your ring right there at the top and you can click that and that'll take you to where we have our Kavashan selection that you can choose from. Then you choose what metal tone you would like and then you choose what size you'd like and whether you'd like it swirly or non-swirly. And then I wrap it here in the live stream and it's a whole bunch of fun. <laughs> hey Lori, but there is no pressure for anyone to buy. We have a couple of sales lined up because um, we actually planned for it this week. Well, hey little girl, what you doing? She stole her Bubba's bone. Okay. Because um, we actually planned for it and so we were able to give our channel members and Happy Crafter Club members uh, and Patreon supporters first dibs on... Um, on all the new cabs that we got posted. I think we sent out the email for that yesterday. Uh, so I saw Sabaya is in here. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap your ring, Sabaya. Are you ready? Because <laughs> we're gonna get right into it. Ooh, Debbie says, where do you get... Ready or not, here we go. Debbie says, where do you get your wire from? From parawire.com? You did. You were actually our very first order and then Randy was like, today? Don't do it in the order of order place to do it based off of who's act, like who's available in chat since we started taking orders yesterday. Uh, that way if some folks haven't made it in but still wanted to see theirs wrapped live, the, we have that opportunity. Um, <laughs> all right, let's get started. I'm going to get the tripod situated before moving the camera out of mercy to all y'all. Ooh, and then, okay, so... We have, y'all get a little bit of a spoiler from our next tutorial, because it's just a quickie, but it's talking about, um, craft room organization, just a craft along quickie, and I'm really excited to show you guys. Do what, babe? No. No what? No, You're not allowed to say craft along quickie? No. Why not? Also, I'm growing a horn out of my nose. Oh, and also, Randy did a paint by number, and he did so good. And I did not clean up, did not clean up my glass station this week. The little smiley face that we drew in the soap last Friday, still there, mocks me to this day. <laughs> hey, Debbie. <laughs> do, 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 do. Yeah, but this is what we got going on. So, spoilers, I got another set of drawers, and check this out. Ta-da! These things fit with beads. And I've got, so now I can stack projects. And I'm so, so happy. I don't have anything in that one yet. There's like nothing, well, okay, there is nothing in those ones. <clears throat> I'm so excited. Okay, so I can't wait to fill those. I'd gotten them for a different station 
like a different spot to organize that. Um, but I figured this one needed the organization just a little bit more. Hey Tish, how's it going? Hey Christy, hey Pro. Hey Jill, Herb, Tiggy, Brooke, Lydia. It's so good to see Peggy. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry if I ever miss anybody's comments. Okay, so wait, let's get situated. Mm -hmm. Herb, I am doing really well today. Hey Kelly, do you have a link for the drawers? Um, I will in Thursday's video, but it's there on our Amazon recommendation list. Um, but it was basically just another kind of like just craft room organization hack to be able to fit those little trays in there. Ooh, Witch and Elm says, super excited. We have our first indoor event tomorrow since we started vending in April. I really hope their cl indoor climate control works because it's the only time that vending indoor is no fun is whenever either their TV or their heater, not TV, air conditioner, uh, either their air conditioner or heater is busted. Hey, Circle. Herb. Herb. Okay, with an H, as if I were British. <laughs> you are British. British, says Randy. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be wrapping this one. Oh, Sabaya. <gasps> Hot Tai Chi in hand. Hot Chai Tea. Oh my god. The burnt boast is glitching. What's up? Can't get your attention. Yeah, what you need, baby? I'll be right back, guys. Yeah. 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 Okay. Also, I haven't decided yet if I'm allergic to this candle that I found on clearance. Like, it smells good, but I think my uh, sinuses are dying. Hot chai tea in hand and ready to learn. Teach away. <laughs> this is a really pretty stone. This is a labradorite, and I love its little flash that it's got in there. So we are going to be wrapping this in antique silver, which is actually the titanium-toned para wire. But on our website, we call it antique silver because I didn't want there to be any confusion about, um, it, like I didn't want folks to think that it was actual titanium. Like, you know what I mean? Like it's be like, if I called it stainless steel wire is like, no, it's the same color, but it's not that metal. So now the wire that we are using is a copper core that's covered in a non-tarnished enamel. So you don't have to worry about it turning your finger green, no green mark. Hey, Elijah. <laughs> okay, so. Just a random question. What up, baby? Okay. Yes. Oh. Thank you for asking. Okay. So, and Sabaya would like it swirly. So, how swirly are we talking, Sabaya? Do you just want the little spirals on the sides or do you want little sweepies around and spirals on the side or or do you want the sweepies around and across the front and spirals on the side <laughs> uh the stone for the ring is not grooved So I'm waiting to hear back from Sabaya. And we're going to do very similarly to how we did. Ooh, she likes the sweepies. Okay, do you want the sweepies across the front? We'll kind of see how this develops too, I'm sure. And I tried to paint my nails for y'all this morning, and then I put my shoes on, so my nails are just like a goobered up absolute mess, because I had to repaint this one like three times. So, <laughs> don't mind me. So we're going to start by making 
our little bend like this and I want it to be far enough in from the tip that it's holding on to that curve but not so far in that it's gonna just slide right through let the stone speak to me right on I love that so I'm just gonna brace that quite firm and then wrap around now this wire that I'm using, um, while Parawire doesn't sell their, it's okay guys, it is literally just the neighbor's honking. Um, Parawire doesn't sell their craft wire, specifically any hardness, um, but the wire that I'm using is very close to dead soft. I hear him, buddy. <laughs> and then just shaping around again on this side. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to do a little bend just like that. Let's see how long these nails last before they're just perfect. UV gel right on. Okay, so now that we've done that little bit of a training bend and I've trained it through the back, I'm going to place my thumb on it and pull it through. There we go. Just like that. Sounds like somebody got into a wreck or something like right in front of our house. I hope everybody's okay. They are just cussing at each other or something though. Can this be a style of wrap views for pendants as well? Yes. This actually just started out um, as a way to wrap pendants and then instead of adding a bail to it I just made the the ring shank part <laughs> hey Stephanie how's it going I am taking my shoes off I am settling in for the long haul I am using 18 gauge wire but this and this is American wire gauge uh, but 20 gauge can work well also Okay, so now, if you see how they just travel off to the side like that, we could go ahead and make the ring band now, and I think I might do that. This way... Okay, so I'm traveling around, and I want to bring through the middle there. Now I'm still getting warmed up. I haven't done any other crafting today, so worst case scenario, I just goober it up real bad and scrap it and start over. Salvage the stone out of it. So here you can see that relocates the band to where it's traveling through the center line. Hey Misty, how are you doing? Ooh. Peggy says, I love the stone choices you have. I'm a collector of crystals and have some beautiful spears and hearts coming. Right on. Okay. So I think, I think that I would like to go ahead and wrap around this way. Making sure these wires don't get crossed. Just because I want it to sit nice and comfortable to the finger. So there's that one. Uh oh, here comes a siren. And now I'm just going to shape around on this side. So that's how that's looking on the back. Oh, that's good to hear, Misty. <laughs> hey, Dex's mom. The deadest internet zone in all of Oklahoma. Oh no, what's going on? Okay, so I'm gonna shift that around a bit more. Give that a squish. Give that a squish. Thank you, baby. Ooh, don't squeeze my buns. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I've got these, uh, 
they look like plastic hand scrubbers, but they're like these little like plastic donuts that you put in your hair to make it like bigger. And I wanted to do space buns. And then Randy keeps coming up and going, bonk, bonk, onto my space buns. <laughs> oh, right on. Herb says, I agree with Vaughn. Pear wire is one of the best I've ever used since I started crafting along with hair. Thank you for the intro to my favorite hobby. Yeah, oh, right on, man. Pants? I know. Just take your pants off, babe. It'll be fine. Go to do the pro route. <laughs> Ooh, Tracy Eller, listening in the background while I register screens. Hope everyone is doing well. We're doing pretty good. Ooh, I like that. Oh, I like that a lot, actually. Oh my God, look at that spiral. E. Okay. Hey, Echo. Hey, Christina. I made about 10 or 12 Christmas gifts this year using groovy cabs. Yes. <laughs> Doo -doo. What you doing, dog? Mm -hmm. I still have that song stuck in my head, you guys. For a week solid, I've had that song stuck in my head. Oh my god, I think I love this so much. And it kind of accidentally morphed. Do what? That I had in my head? Yes. No. What song did you put in my head? I don't remember it. Probably for the best though, right? <laughs> I don't know. Sabaya, I think I love this. But I don't know yet. Do you love it? Like, because it's your ring. You're the one who's supposed to like it. Are you sure you're not going to just do a No Pants November? That's not a bad idea. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to trim this one to be... No, uh, for our craft-alongs, we don't have after parties because, gosh, how long did we stay on in last week? At least till 8.30. Mm -hmm. I, no I don't know either, but it was like a super duper long time. I have slept since then, says my Randy. Same. But yeah, that way we don't do the after parties. That way, whoops, everybody can see how their rings get wrapped. And so I'm just tucking that behind, and then I'm going to come in. And I am going to squeeze that shut. And I just want it looped around the ring band. Not the ring band. That spine wire. And then also I'm going to be trying on everyone's rings. <laughs> because I'm laying on a cheese sandwich. Oh, Sabaya. So that's a size 12. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh my gosh. I love that. Ooh, what do you think, Savia? <laughs> People are doing well. Be aware major storms are coming through this afternoon, possible tornadoes. Is that what is up? Because it's just blowing all over the backyard and like it blew like some tables over and so I didn't know if we had wind coming in today or what. So thank you, Pro, for letting me know. Oh, oh I'm so glad to be here. Let me get the gift box for you. <clears throat> I got I got my shoes back on. I gotta wear pants. Now you gotta wear pants? Yeah. For the tornadoes? Yeah. I don't know, leave your pants off, you might scare it. There's <laughs> intimidate it. <laughs> intimidate it. So like Tina's like can't come here. This is Sasquatch country. So we have some of these. We we have an assortment of gift boxes, and I'm afraid, yeah, the stone's a little long for that one. So fortunately, ah, 
Yes, but it says I think I have a ring for every finger from you now. Oh. So. You got toes, don't you? Randy says you got toes, don't you? Hmm. I'm still trying to figure out how to package rings. Hey, Lola. Holy crap. She says, hey there. I love the rings. Can't believe I have the day off. Oh, I hope you're enjoying your day off. So I'll rummage through and I'll find when we got some that are a little bit thicker. Because I thought that these would be good, like, earring boxes. So I'll find you a nice gift box for your rings, Sabaya. Hey, Randy. The ones without sticky, like, I take off the sticky notes when they're done. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Toe rings. Oh no. Well y'all stay safe from the tornadoes and stuff. This might be a we might be in the basement crafting. Okay, up next we have Is there a Julie Rooney in the house? Or anybody who is on the fence about buying? Do you have a spot where I can get me save these? Oh, okay. yes, you can save this. I don't have a spot. Okay. I will put the... Um, right you want to just bring you the thing? Yeah. Okay, I'll do that. <laughs> okay. But anybody who's on the fence <laughs> about buying a ring, you are right? No, I swallowed, like, a whole bunch of dog hair. Mmm. Well, well, I had to give Millie kids. Keep the dog out of your mouth. <laughs> Keep my dog out your mouth. <laughs> no. <coughs> oh, my God. Um, We have wins on their way, too. Right on, Lola. Cab number 28 is really good if anybody's on the fence about getting a cab. <laughs> Randy says if 29. 29 is the cab that Ra I think is Randy's favorite. He's over there pulling orders now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't mean to keep coughing in y'all's ear. Is there a Julie here? No. I holler and then throw my phone into a river. Thank you, Denise. I'll take it all that we can get. <sighs> Ooh, hey Hawk. Ooh, Hawk actually wants to see the cabs. That's not a bad idea. Let's go grab them. What? Well, will you bring them? No, um, do you have it set up in your uh, thingy? What thingy? You choose your cab here. In the video description? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I actually set that up all by my own self today. Wow. Right? Yeah. Okay. I'm instead of calling out individual names, is anybody who ordered a ring here in chat? Because I'll wrap yours next. Okay. So these are the cabs that we have. Ooh, we've been picked over quite a bit. Oh, Randy says cab twenty nine. <clears throat> and hey, babe. Hey. Uh, what if I also offered to wrap them as pendants? Why do you always change? I don't know why I'm like Everything. this, honey. But you love me, right? Millie. Right? Attack her. No. <laughs> Give me just a sec. I gotta go, like, dive in. Do you want to show you need water? Real quick? I have water. But I keep drinking it down the wrong tube. Mm. <coughs> oh. <coughs> so we've got two thing about two is it's kind of thin but it's got like this princess cut thing going on with it so it's very reflective on a lot of different surfaces let me just move it around three is a nice teardrop it's got some pretty good flash in it yeah she's just coughing she drank too much out of the the wrong direction i guess it's like it went down the wrong tube uh five is also a teardrop with a good flash Why are you on my computer? <laughs> Six is elongated. Ten is a big statement piece. Uh, a longer teardrop. Twelve is another, like, I don't know what exactly shape that is. Fourteen is an amethyst, so it doesn't have to be a lab. Fifteen is a smaller teardrop. As with 17 over here. So. 19 is another teardrop. 20 is a oval. 
baby. 21 is a small teardrop. I decided to take an allergy pill. Oh, that would help, wouldn't it? Uh-huh. Okay, I'm going to let you take over. So I remembered I was hugging rabbits earlier today. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, that explains why I'm having an allergy meltdown. <laughs> okay. Did he show you all of the pretty rocks? Most of them. Most of them. But yeah, so this is the selection that we have to choose from. <clears throat> I need that. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm between fighting allergies and having swallowed water the wrong way. Um, okay, ooh, oh, that'd be so nice, Christina. <clears throat> So Stephanie's here. She placed an order. I'm going to go ahead and wrap hers. <clears throat> Ooh, an amethyst one. What is it? Cab 16. So this one's going to get wrapped in bright silver in not swirly. And then, ooh, this one's going to be wrapped in vintage bronze. Let me go grab my opened, not opened jar, but... the wire equivalent of using the opened one first. Okay, so this one in the vintage bronze is going to be a 9.5. <clears throat> Ooh, subliminal buy, buy the rings, changing hands to your right hand. Ooh. It's a little too... I guess I can trade rings. Uh, be safe, Lydia. Good idea. Oh, that is nice. <laughs> right on, Witch and Gnome. Oh, no. <coughs> I think all the wind, too, has really blown up a lot of dust. And, of course, we have the windows open. Okay, so we're going to do, it's basically the same formula every time. We're going to do that first bend. And then the second bend. And on, on a teardrops like this, I do like to wrap the small end, the pointed end, first. Just because that holds so nicely and keeps the stone from shifting out <clears throat> whenever we wrap the other end. <clears throat> gotcha, Christina. Ooh. <clears throat> yeah. Well, fortunately, we have a little bit of a haven for the uh, stray cats under our shed in the backyard. And they hunt mice for free. So that's always nice. Well, the chicken under the chicken shed. Okay. So again, I've done that little bend. <clears throat> Excuse me. And... I'm now going to, we did the training bend, and it's off to the, it's farther in from where that spine wire is. Hey, Itzy, how's it going? Aw, <laughs> right on, book. Well, if we get tornadoes today, that'll be Millie's first tornado. She actually didn't come down into the basement yesterday. She just stole a mouthful of the little wood shims that we use to keep the uh, door to the basement from shifting around when we walk on it, and then ran. <clears throat> oh no, pro. It is already the fourth, so there's that. We're doing pretty good. I'm having some allergy issues today.
And again, doing that bend. And bringing this ring through, or wire through. Pulling down nice and tight. <laughs> Barn cats is what we call them. <laughs> <clears throat> Okay, so just coming in and I'm going to actually cinch down on this one. That way we have a nice strong hold. And then we can just boop, kind of wiggle boop our wires to make sure it's holding it nice and straight. Um, the wooden drawers we got off of Amazon, um, it's actually our upcoming video is, <clears throat> like this thir coming Thursday's video. Is on the different organization that I'm going to be doing in the drawers. And so, uh, we'll have all the links and everything specifically to exactly the drawers that I have and exactly the trays that I use. But you can also just search like color pencil organizer on Amazon and you should be able to find it. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so this one is a size 10. So if I'm wrapping to a size 10, then I usually want to go down just a little bit. So we're actually going to be working at an 11. You know, and I thought I was fine all day, but it talking is really uh, irritating my condition. Ooh, no, now Harbor Freight does have a really nice wooden toolbox that I've had my eyes on for like a decade at this point. But I just don't know how I'd fit it into my setup. Okay, so we'll pull that through. And then again, making sure that these aren't crossing. I'm threading them through behind that, between the spine wire and the stone. And this is something we definitely want to do on the mandrel so that when we pull nice and tight, it actually keeps its shape. <clears throat> hey, Island, how's it going? Ooh, you got to get it. Bought it for my birthday three years back. I love it. Ooh, right on. Would it make it, this is going to sound strange, but would it make a good, like, makeup organizer? <laughs> so there's that. And now we're not doing a swirly ring, but I still need to do that binding. Now, uh, Stephanie, would you like one or two bands going across on this one? Ooh. Yeah, I found a, the Plano tackle boxes worked really well. Two machinist toolboxes right on now. Mm-hmm. So just real quick, that's what two would look like. Gotcha. An art bin, very cool. <clears throat> yeah, I really like coming around behind, doing that little bit of a crossover. And then now we'll be able to just make a little closed loop. <coughs> Excuse me. Again, I'm really hoping this allergy pill kicks in because I was fine until I started talking. And I was so excited to be like, like, it was brimming with a chatterbox <laughs> just chatterbox vibes 
So now from here, I'm giving it a snip. And then I'm going to come around. And you can kind of see, I've just made that little shepherd hook. And then I continue moving up the wire until it's... You can kind of see right there. And so now we can smush it and squish it. Hey, April, how's it going? Hot tea. Oh, that'd be so good. <clears throat> yeah, I might go put the pedal on. <laughs> right, Christina? The subliminal messaging is hard. Like, not subliminal. What is, hey, mm -hmm. what, Pavlov effect? When you ring the bell and the dog yes, gets slobbery? But yes, that's what we do for coffee. I go crafting and we all get all slobbery for yeah. coffee. Um, hey baby, mm -hmm. could I ask you to make me a cup of coffee mm. to drink? Mm. Sorry, I have to ask very carefully because sometimes he'll be like, poof, your pot of coffee. And I'm like, no. This one is a Labradorite and it's a beautiful specimen too, I do think. Okay. And I always test for any wibbles and wobbles and weird things that might start happening. Because you never know sometimes how the wire is going to start acting up on you. And you just need to smush it out some more. Ooh, what do you think of that, Stephanie? <clears throat> Wendy. I'm pa I am Pavlov's dog. What a good dog. Oh, I'm so glad you like it. Do you want this same style with the two... Uh, for the amethyst as well. <clears throat> Ooh, oh goodness, April. She says, I'm good. Just spent a small fortune on new hot water plus having a softener installed, so feeling a little broke. Oh man. But hot water plus a softener, that's nice. It's not nothing for sure. But I know how you feel. We had to get um, actually a furnace and a water heater this year. <clears throat> Granted, that was at the beginning of, you know, the season and not, it was far enough that now, you know, it's faded a bit in my memory and doesn't sting as bad. Ooh, a little swirling. Okay. Right on. <laughs> Lola says raffle. I used to make my son a sandwich. Poof, you're a sandwich. <laughs> Ooh, Aang. This is a way to go on the weight loss. Oh, and it just disappeared. That's okay. <clears throat> oh, I'm so glad you like it, Stephanie. A swirlier. Yeah. Ah, right on, Misty. Well, we tend to ship out um on Mondays. Like, we ship on Mondays and Thursdays, typically. And this one's bright silver, that's right. And this one's going to be a 9.5. Ooh, I need to test the size and make sure that that was... Gotcha, April. Yep. It's a hair over a 10. Do you want me to size it down a bit for you, Stephanie? It's like 10 and a quarter. <laughs> That's a valid point, April. <coughs> oh, hey, Lily Dog. What's up, baby girl? Oh, you're so pretty. <laughs> okay. So, also, this is a great way to be able to size down, is we can just isolate which band it is and then tweak it that way it actually sizes down the ring but leaves the band undisturbed and then we can just stretch it back up to a 10 
Gotcha, Stephanie. You know, the whole point of getting rings custom made is so that they're perfect. So I didn't know. Well, I mean, we didn't have ten and a quarter as an option. So figured I'd always ask just to check and see. Oh. <clears throat> oh, Misty says, I know you're extremely busy and I kind of figured you had certain days you shipped. No worries. I'm just super excited for that green moon. Green is my favorite color. Right on. And I got to say something to y'all. <clears throat> and I hope I don't just cough in your face. But Randy and I stay really busy by no one's fault but our own. But we're never too busy for you guys. And I need you to know that. So don't ever, like, if you want to send us an email because you have a question or you want to show us something, don't ever stop because you're like, oh, well, I know she's busy, so I won't do it. No, do it. Do it. Definitely do it because y'all make my absolute day. So that and I can make a day of being busy out of just sitting there staring at a wall. So it's, if there's, a, if there's. If there's a Vaughn, there is a way to make things complicated and busy, but I'm never too busy for you guys. <laughs> Made a comment on that email saying that you have came a long way from crystal light lids. I was watching one of your videos where you're using lids to contain your beads. We still do, we just put them in, we just put them in drawers now. <laughs> Excuse me. It's like, I can't die right now. I've got rings to make. Oh, Wendy. What, die or make rings? <laughs> hey, I need a hug. Oh, don't oh down, okay. I didn't mean to. Am I running over? Oh, she just lay in there. I hope this allergy pill kicks in. I'm getting yeah, easier and easier. Like, are you able to hear it? Mm -mm. Okay. <clears throat> cool. I don't want to be wheezing in y'all's ears. Aw, Nicole. I'm too tired to be sweet. I'm just being honest with y'all. Because it's like, otherwise, it's all just like miserable busy. Like replying to the Cabochon bots on Instagram who were like, follow to get shares or like something. And then it's like, I I've started just replying, thank you for the engagement on this post. I guess. Like, I don't know what else to say. Um, quick Millie moment. But, uh, where my Millie at? Oh. Millie, wee! She just laid down. What are you doing, Millie? Oh, what are you doing? She's like, well, I was having it. Why do you look so scared? What's in your mouth? Oh, just teeth. Look at them little teeth. Wee! <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, I'll stop tormenting you. At least on camera. You're a good girl, Millie. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Oh, I gotta scratch that nugget. Why gotta go like blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> okay, now that my hands are covered in dog slobber, I'm gonna get back to work. Oh, God. <laughs> Patty says, is it bad to just block the cabochon dealers? No, go ahead and block them. I don't because the, sometimes they're the only ones that Instagram shows my posts to. And I'll take all the engagement I can get. No, I'm not getting sick. It's just, I mean, shoot, I don't think I am. No, it's definitely drinking that water earlier went down the wrong pipe and I haven't been right since. I have a drinking problem. Are most of your wires there para wire? Yes. Hey Amanda, all the wire that I have out here right now is para wire. <clears throat> Even the we have some bare copper as an option, and that's from para wire as well. <laughs> Lori says you're so gifted and talented. Thank you, Lori. Any chance you could clone your Randy and send him my way? Sweetest man ever. You both are so very lucky to be joined at the hit. Dude. I don't even know how I got this lucky and like every not to brag but as the years go by Randy just gets better and better as a partner and as a gonna be my husband soon as like it's I, I feel so lucky you know, like if I could go through time and space and high five past Vaughn for just because as we just rode the same bus together like it was we didn't know we just liked each other but I had no idea that I was snagging a catch. So. <coughs> <laughs> Kelly.
Kelly says Randy just needs to have a be like Randy training class. Randy! No. <sighs> he said no. <laughs> but we can monetize it. I don't want to make another clone. <laughs> Deb, welcome to the channel. <laughs> but they're saying please. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that's good coffee. Thank you so much, Randy. Ooh, cheers, everybody. I'm going to just do this for a sec. Oh my goodness. Honestly, I think a, not to... Okay, how do I phrase this so it doesn't... What I was going to say is, honestly, I think people would be disappointed if they took a Be Like Randy class because Randy would just be sitting there like Ron Swanson in that episode where, where he went meditating with Chris Traeger. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about, babe? That would be your Be Like Randy class. Just you sitting there glowering at them. <laughs> yeah. Be better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, so <laughs> um Ron Swanson and Chris Traeger. Um it's oh my gosh, it's Parks and Rec is just a good show, you guys. Oh Mama Salty says I never saw that one. It's I'm I'm gonna ruin it, but you really should go watch it. Uh it's uh Traeger was just um you know, oh, you have to come and do this with me to clear your mind and relax. And it's just, Ron Swanson was being Ron Swanson and just sat there scowling. And Chris Traeger was in awe. Again, thumbed it down a lot. <clears throat> yes! <laughs> Absolutely love Ron Swanson. <laughs> right on, Kelly. <coughs> Excuse me. More coffee. Ooh. Same, Christina. Same. Like, I've gotten like this close to just being like, hey, Randy, will you dress up in a Ron Swanson outfit? We're coming in. And this one might be a little swirly. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Here we go. Coming in. <clears throat> Opening that up. Also, shout out to all of our lurkers. What are you guys up to today? Oh, I think he is, Christina. If you've watched Parks and Rec, I think, is it Tammy 2? that uh is actually is, is actually his wife <laughs> yes <laughs> bruce willis and chris tucker in fifth element okay so i'm gonna come in and i'm gonna bend it Ooh, patty says prepping for the show tomorrow oh, good luck to you How did I do that? How did it just make them both go the same way? Oh, what have I done? You know, but I love that, though. How do I get that to do that again? Ooh, did I just bend them both the same way? Oh, my gosh. <clears throat> just making it up as I go, really. I do think is the case. So now, ooh, attempting to crochet. What are you crocheting, Drax? And this one's a nine and a half. Lurker here, just watching you craft right on. <clears throat> well, I'm glad y'all are here. I hope you're having a good day. Ow, my knuckles. Durable ring, though. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, Deb, how's it going? Still at work. Awesome. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I pulled that one down way too far. <clears throat> Let's see if we can stretch it back out. out of me. Oh. <coughs> hey, Melly, good morning. How are you? Did you turd Ferguson? What the heck? You can't just yell out of nowhere. That's crazy. Why do you have ketchup on your head? Z, why does she have ketchup on her head? It must be from the Skeddy sauce earlier. What? I let her and Z clean the pot. Yeah. Okay. Whew. So we're going to just keep stretching. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Whew. Yeah. That'll wake you up. Mm. Well, that's good coffee. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> Are we awake now? So I'm going to keep stretching this one to a nine and a half. There we go. Okay. So now that we have the ring band situated, I'm going to come in here onto the spine and cinch. So that there's... Oops. Okay. <clears throat> well, that's not what I expected to happen, but here we are. <laughs> Super durable. <clears throat> These things happen. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to finish the wrap on this. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like now she's just doing it to see me jump. There's some human. Oh my gosh. It's on one hand, I really, really hate loud dog barking, but also on the other, in our neighborhood, I think that's been a major contributing factor that we've always had at least two very big and grumpy sounding dogs to sound the alarm the second somebody gets into either our driveway or into the front yard or hears any of the gate squeaks. They do so good. That is Millie bark barking. Yep. <laughs> She's a good girl, though. I love her. Yay. What up, baby? Time to pay property tax. Yay. If anybody wants to buy a ring, you can go to our website. <laughs> Sorry, Randy just gave me the good news. She does, Lori. She's still, like, I don't know, she looks kind of like she's supposed to be bigger and just isn't yet, if that makes sense. She's still growing. She is still growing, Randy says, but it's, but she hasn't had a growth spurt. 
Well, I don't know. She just gets bigger every day, doesn't she? She does. By like a bit. She takes up more of the bed every day. Yeah. Kelly says she's going to have a marvelously huge body to go with that loud barker. Oh boy. I have a chihuahua and she barks if a leaf falls. Yeah, but you know if a leaf has fallen. I'm kind of just thinking, going a little free form on this one. That's true, Judith. Oof. <laughs> Yeah, I'm excited, though, because we've had a Great Dane before. Um, I just, I hope, I hope she doesn't get, like, hip problems or, like, I really don't, like, I don't get super excited about worrying about, um, what's it called when Great Danes go running and their, like, innards flip? Like, it, I mean, it's horrible, but I can't remember, because I keep thinking bloat, but I think, I think that's a cow thing that happens. But, so I'm hoping she doesn't get so big that we have to, yeah, okay, bloat. I'm hoping she doesn't get so big that we have to worry about that. But I have started setting up a straw bale obstacle course in the backyard because I have a, I don't know why it's her favorite toy, but a hair curler, like one of those Velcro feeling hair curlers tied on the end of some fishing line on like a half length fishing pole. What do you think of that one, Stephanie? And uh, I run her around the backyard um, using the fishing pole and getting her to jump over the uh, straw bales just to wear her out so she can, like, she's so full of energy. Oh, I have no idea what she is, but I'm just hoping that she doesn't get so big, like, Great Dane sized. She's probably going to be, like, the size of a liger. Eee! Oh, I'm so glad that you do, Stephanie. Just a little bit of swirly. And they're all enclosed swirls, too, so there's no, like, loose end to get snagged on you. Oh, hey, I have coffee. Hey, Michelle, how's it going? Oh, no, Deborah. Up next, we have... Ah, okay. Jack says, if you're feeding her puppy food, go ahead and switch to adult food. It's better on their joints. Okay, I've been mixing some in, but we've, I think we've used up the bag, so I think she is already converted fully to adult food. Ooh, Michelle, I'm going to wrap yours next. Ooh, got done getting some rocks. Ooh, wee. Okay, so we got that one. Hey, Randy. Mm -hmm. I was like, man, he writes his B's weird. Because I thought it, they all said cab. No. I understand now. That makes sense. <laughs> oh, no, Jill. My heart's with you. I'm still broken from losing our Sam dog. Hmm. Okay, this one is... Ooh, antique copper. Oh, I gotta go grab the antique copper. I'll be right back, guys. What's your new dog? What did that doggy do? What did that doggy do? Oh, that doggy do. You're so good. You're so good. Oh, oh yeah. Fire. Hey, Randy. Do we have any um, small spools? Uh. <laughs> the 18-gauge... 
antique copper. I don't know if those are inventoried on the website or not. Fair. Uh, okay. Can you do another famous for me? Uh, that one. So now we're at 12. Can you keep an eye on the weather to see if we have any? Yep. Okay. Alrighty, guys, I'm back. Cab 13 is going with the antique copper. And both of these are swirly. Michelle, do you think you'd like them uh, late? Like, we have ultra swirly or the kind of swirly one go? I've lost it. <laughs> there it is. And then we have kind of swirly. And then we have in between swirly. And other in between swirly. On the scale of swirly, less or more? Oh my gosh, what you know? <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> more swirly. We shall go even further beyond. Thank you, baby. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, Kelly. So early in a Saturday in Australia, but I'm here. Hey, Sam, how's it going? Hey, Jennifer. Okay, and then this one, cab 32, antique silver. More slowly. And I'm struggling because I want to talk about it. I want to talk about losing Sam Dog and the pros and cons and stuff. But I don't want to be crying and coughing in your ear this evening. But it, it really was. There was a point, a threshold beyond where just the pain of losing him like there was a threshold where that started to be become I could remember him and he's not in pain anymore you know now is the time that I get to remember him and cherish all those beautiful memories that were made but most most of all was that he wasn't he wasn't hurting anymore ah! <laughs> it's spring in the upside down land <laughs> that's so cool yeah, I think we saw one of your videos of them swarming. How neat is that? I had a super cool experience with a bee yesterday. Um, I was piddling around outside because we've got to take Millie out like 20 times a day or she decides to poop you know, right in front of the stairs. Um, and when I came back in, I was just bustling with something. But there was a bee crawling, like, just slow, like, disoriented, almost crawling on uh, the, my shirt. And I was just, at first, I was like, ah, oh, hey, Aang, welcome to the channel. <laughs> Thank you for your support. Uh, but at first, like, my, I stopped my first impulse, which was to, like, slap the bee off of me. Because I thought, usually if it's something that stings. But this one I saw, it was very disoriented and, like, slow. I mean, it's been cold and stuff. Um... And so I just real carefully took like, I think it was like scissors or something that were next to me and put it in the path of where the bee was crawling and the bee crawled onto the scissors and then I took it outside and, uh, and just, I was just watching it up close like that. Like I've never, I've always been like afraid to get, of getting stung. So I never really paid as close of attention as I guess I could have. And oh, just it's fuzzy little butt. And I don't know if it was a bee or just like you know how sometimes there's flies that look like bees? Or something that looks like bees, but it's technically a fly. I don't know. I didn't know what it was, but it was wiggling its butt and cleaning its little face. And I thought it was super cute. And uh, 
And then I just set it outside and uh, one of our petunias, it crawled off the scissors and into the flower and started just eating. And I was like, oh. So I felt like I had made a friend. Like, and, and then I came and I told Randy about it and his face immediately, he was like, oh, you know, that there was a bee on me because normally that is not how the story goes. It normally ends in I'm stung and, and I need medicine and the singer removed and, you know, keep, keep it on me to make sure I don't go into like anaphy anaphylactic shock or something is usually what Randy or I have to do when one of us gets stung, but I didn't get stung and it was just, it was really, really cool. <sighs> Aw, yeah, Christina. Right on. Well, me and that bee were vibing, and that's the first time that's ever happened, and that was so, so cool. So I can, like, and I didn't say it to Randy, because he, I know he'd be like, no, extra no, but I was like, I can see why beekeepers do this. That was really cool. Ah! Oh my god! Thank you, Megan! <laughs> well, good, yeah. Hmm. I'm going to see if removing the stone for this step makes it any easier. Hey, Megan. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. It's been, I'm not going to lie, it's been a hell of a year. But we're doing pretty good. I think this allergy medicine is making me drowsy. So if I slow down, I'm still going. Just slower. <laughs> When they swarm, they don't sting. Standing in a swarm is an amazing buzz. Pardon the pun. Oh, I bet, Samantha. Okay, so I'm remembering. There is this movie, Jupiter Rising. Which, let me start off by saying. It was, it was a terrible movie. But it was probably one of the most beautiful movies I think I've ever seen. But just a whole lot of the imagery, like I would just watch the whole movie on mute, just curated just to see the beautiful scenery. And, you know, it was so like, just beautiful. Terrible movie. though. I think Shannon Tatum was like a werewolf skater boy. I don't know, maybe I should rewatch it. I might be being too hard on it. <laughs> Keep pushing, I'm pushing on one hour of sleep. Oh no, pro. You need sleep for like your brain and stuff, man. I think. That's what the internet said. It really has in some kind of year. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> Kelly says, oh no, it was a bad movie. It was pretty though, wasn't it? And Mila Kunis is... I think one of the most beautiful human beings I've ever seen, like, on on a screen. Secret life of bees. Okay. What's a brain? The thing between your ears that needs sleep. <laughs> okay, this is going to be a 10.5. Very cool. So I'm going to come down a little bit. It gets a little tricky on some of these longer stones. I think I'm like, oh god, the ring band's going to be so far apart. The story was terrible, but it was nice visually. Same. <laughs> oh, yeah. I actually don't... Well, the kid, the stove clock. We've been having power outages almost daily out here, so... I'm having to reset the kitchen clock every day, but everything other than that does a pretty good job of just auto-updating. Bye, Lola. Thanks so much for coming and hanging out. Oh, that's so cool of you. Movie reviews along with the Craft along a thon Well, gosh, a whole lot of our career has been Randy and I watching old movies from when we were kids. Being like, have you seen this one? No, well, well we've got to watch it. <laughs> and then, like, watching... <laughs> Uh, all the old Saturday morning cartoons because it's like we'd need something for watching that was just interesting enough to be a really good background filler but not so interesting that I'm not getting anything done because some shows are just too interesting and so no like nothing was getting woven because you know we were riveted you know by what we were watching Doctor Who got that way for me 
I just, I, I can't, couldn't get past, uh, which doctor were we on, honey? Mm -hmm. In Doctor Who? Which what? Which doctor did we end on? Oh, um. Because it was still relatively early in the show. I'm not sure which one we ended on. It's the, I mean, the feller who was what's-his-face's... <laughs> <laughs> That's not helpful at all. He was in the Harry Potter movies and like Mad Eye Moody. Oh, um That feller. Oh hey Jill she says, How can we find your David Tennant? David Tennant? That sounds correct. We got past him. Did we? I think. Not by much, because we didn't get any work done. Yeah, well. Well I didn't. Oh, that's good. Good coffee. Um, but yeah, you can go to our website, backtoearthcreations.com, or there's a link, at, it's the very first link in the video description, and that's where you can place the order. <laughs> right on, Stephanie. Stargate, yes! Yup. But yeah, so like, watched and rewatched all of Stargate, Stargate Atlantis, um... Was it Stargate SG-1? Yeah. Is that the first Stargate, or is that a diff... The first. Okay. I don't know, just, I watched all of the Star Trek. It just, gotta watch all this stuff. <laughs> hey, Denise. It's good to lurk. The fingernails starting to, the nail polish is starting to wear off. Though it's still gummy from earlier. I think maybe I should get some of that UV gel polish. What are these? Ten and a half. There we go. Checking the size. There is... We watched all of the Jackie Chan adventures. Which is a really good show, by the way. <laughs> One more thing. Um, and then, and yes, these are swirly. Very cool. Like just recently we rewatched The Mummy and The Mummy Returns, which are awesome. What are you laughing? It took us a week to watch The Mummy Returns. Yeah, I kept falling asleep, but it, I mean, it's good to fall asleep to for sure. Mmm, doing the dip to my nails and it helps so much with wire wrapping for me because it makes the nails so much stronger. Right on, Megan. Ah, making dinner. Hey, fish lady. Each one's coming out just a little different, and I don't know if I'm into it. The dip is the best. Okay. <laughs> Pro says I use Harry Potter to fall asleep. Nice. Which is your favorite Harry Potter movie? <laughs> to any... <laughs> sure, to sleep to as well, or just in general. Mm, it's really hard to sleep past the Goblet of Fire. It is? Mm-hmm. Why? Dumbledore and the Goblin of Fire. What? <laughs> it's the way Dumbledore ends. Yeah, okay. He does get really intense in that yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> the first one. Right on. Hey, Liz. Prisoner of Azkaban. Hmm. I don't know what my favorite one is. It's either the first or the second one, I think. Was your favorite or the easiest to fall asleep to? It's my favorite. And the easiest to fall asleep to. I can fall asleep to anything, not to brag, but... Mm. Except for Doctor Who, it's too interesting. 
And the first one is kind of the easy. Probably the easiest to fall asleep to are the latest ones. Because like, the screen's so dark. It's so dark, you yeah. can see what's happening. And it's like, well, I'll just pass it out. <laughs> and Voldemort's doing his ASMR, his mumble. <laughs> I think it's just because somebody kept turning down the TV. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, go read Sabaya's comment. Yes, calmly. Yes, calmly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. the soundtrack is on point. Yeah, I, I love the beginning of series. Is. Like, and I don't know why I'm like that. I'll rewatch through, like, even with Parks and Rec, um, whenever I'm, like, doing a rewatch of it, um, I just won't watch the last season because I, do, I don't like it ending. Like, I liked the ending, but I don't like that it's ending, like, the concept in general. Jennifer said, which Doctor Who did you start on? Um, the very, very first black and white, there were dinosaurs on the submarine. What's his... Oh, that was in color. That one was in color? Yeah. Well, we, we, we went through and we were like, we're going to do this right and started with the original. And I'm very bad with the names. Yeah, the, the first one was in black and white and that Doctor was awesome. Yes. Until it got to the dinosaurs and the submarine one, and we were like, let's just stick to the modern one. <laughs> gotcha. But no, I remember watching the one with the fella with the scarf with my dad when I was a kid, but I was so young that, like, I didn't. None of it registered, if that makes sense. Okay, so we're stretching to a ten and a half. What do you think of this one, Michelle? Oh, I didn't realize I was so zoomed out. There we go. Maybe that'll... Well, it's probably too far in. Oh, it's way too far in. It's Tom Baker. <laughs> Thanks, Liz. <laughs> Thanks, Liz. Mm-hmm. And I have to say, I think the Doctor Who cosplayers are some of my favorite as well. Just they're, them and Harry Dresden are always, like, just the coolest folks. Like, whenever I see somebody walking through dressed up like the Doctor or Dresden, um, I just know that already it's like, yeah, we could hang out. <laughs> right on, Christina. <laughs> Just read Stephanie's comment, Dumbledore way overreacted on that one. <laughs> yeah. Do what? Lynn said, now that's too weird, dang it. I've got to join the channel on and off before I can read other people's posts. So odd, right? That is so weird, Lynn. Right, Renee? Oh, we are in the age of remakes. Maybe they'll remake the Dresden File series. Maybe they'll do it right. And maybe they'll do it right, says Randy. Yeah, Liz, <laughs> we are. Okay, so this one, is in the antique copper. Ah, Holly says, can't sleep with TV on, only wants to hear fish water and crickets. Nice. <laughs> Liz says, creepiest song in existence. 
Yeah, second only to the um oh how's it go? Ring around the rosy pockets for the posies ashes ashes beyond ah! <laughs> Creepy creepiest song ever. <laughs> so I'll go back to singing the other creepy song now. Creepy paper. <laughs> Christina. <laughs> oh, and now I'm out of frame. Maybe we'll scooch back. There we go. Oh, I haven't seen Poltergeist in like a really, really long time. It freaked me out. Was that the one with like something? Oh, I'm not even going to say it. It's creepy. If I'm not mistaken, it's the movie where they actually used real human skeletons. Because <laughs> it was cheaper. Because <laughs> it was cheaper. Oh my gosh. You know, I, I've read that, Jennifer. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay. Oh, my hands have just turned to jelly. Maybe my I could... Jelly my jelly hands. Well, it's so warm that uh, my fingers feel a little swollen. And palms sweaty, mom spaghetti kind of stuff. There we go. <laughs> Renee. Well, I feel like I'm kind of bumbling along, but I've got y'all's comments over here on my tablet. And so it's super helpful when y'all at me because it's been a minute. But yeah, you can see how it highlights it in gray. It used to highlight it in orange. Um and that was really helpful. That caught my that caught my eye. But I just in between stuff, I don't know. I uh I just chime or Chime into the comments and see what y'all are saying. Oh, I'm not sure, Renee. What? Jennifer says it's rather noisy tonight with fireworks going off for bonfire night. Cannot back up at all. Oh, Millie's directly behind me. Are we celebrating the Guy Fox Day? <laughs> ah, I love burning a good effigy. <laughs> there we go, just getting this kind of straightened up. Oh my gosh. Hmm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so I can't back up at all. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Dude, Randy, this thing on my nose is literally sprouting. Did something bite me or do I have a pimple? I don't know. Am I turning into boo? Her ears are flipped back. That's rough. Okay. <laughs> Get the belly. <laughs> Randy's shifting her into her chair. <laughs> Don't deadweight yourself in chair. <laughs> if you throw your back out, picking up that dog. <sighs> She's like, I didn't want to be in the chair. <laughs> oh, good morning, baby. Time's a construct, I know. At a 10.5. I think this one is going to be swirly over the front a little bit more. Just water. Just water. She does that on her own. Mango rum says pro. Sometimes it's a little finicky, but we'll get it sorted. I don't know why, Drax, but I just in my mind heard you be like, I miss the rains down in Africa. <laughs> So I'm just coming through and trying to make sure that these wires don't get crossed again. Just points for effort. Coming through there just to lock that down. I do two wraps. Eggs is rain in here. It looks like something's blowing in in our neck of the woods. And I'm not going to lie, we could use the rain. The only thing better than fall leaves is the smell of damp fall leaves. Ooh. Well, in 30 minutes, it's a 30% chance. Oh, yeah? An hour and 30 minutes, it's an 80% chance. Ooh. Uh, two hours and 30 minutes, it's a 100% chance. Oh, my gosh. We should take Millie out before then. Yeah, it's probably like three. So I'm going to try to smush this a little further, but I'm kind of worried I'm going to need to rewrap this one um, just because it shrinked on me. It's at like an eight and a half and I don't want to stress the ring or the stone. So what I'm going to do is when things like this happen, we can come in and we can open up this wire gently. And now I can use this setting. I could put a, dip, you know, a different but similarly sized teardrop into there and cinch it down and still be able to use that. So I'm not going to scrap bin that. I'm just going to set it off to the side. Hey, Leela, how's it going? <laughs> Drax. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Though the leaves on the street sound like rain anyhow. And there's leaves just blowing all up and down the road. Just crinkling. Oh my gosh, North Side Estate, oh. Well, I hope everybody out that way is all right. Tornadoes suck. Okay. That is. The leaves on the street sound like rain anyhow. Ooh, I did a thing. I put a notepad in my drawer so that I can do stuff like this. Mm. So now we'll remember. Mm -hmm. Cheers, everybody. Yeah. I like that. I used to write really bad angsty poetry when I was in high school. It was so, like, hashtag deep <laughs> and uh, cringy and horrible to read back on it now but man I was feeling feelings in my heart and had to do something with it so I wrote poetry <laughs> mm. <laughs> the side eye. I love that, Liz. I, I almost feel like if folks did not partake in a little bit of, you know, bad angsty poetry, um, or at least the writing of it, that you kind of missed out a little bit. There's something, I don't know. When we're young, everything in this world is so new and so exciting. And, you know, every new word that you hear, you've heard it for the first time. And do what, Randy? I didn't miss out on nothing. Randy says, I didn't miss out on nothing. You wrote bad poetry, I thought. No. Or did you just rewrite Breaking Benjamin lyrics? No, I didn't even do that. You must have been... Must have gotten my wires crossed on a memory. <laughs> But yeah, it's just, yep, you feel all the feels and the feels are so big. And it's, I don't know, it's kind of fun to, it, it's like, you know, with crafting and stuff, being excited about being new at something. It doesn't matter that you're bad at it. You're, you know, you're, you're new. You never get to be new at this again. Like, you know. Hmm. Ooh. <laughs> Christina says, I'm in the Huntsville Literary Association and write some poetry, some which has been published. Right on. But yeah, some of it is terrible. <laughs> well, that's art for you. <laughs> yeah, Randy? He just in there going, that's your business. <gasps> yeah? Jennifer says, I wrote some lines about crafting. Ooh, I'd love to hear them. Do 
Dude, Renee, I still do a ton of journaling. I almost want to try getting back into that angsty poetry. But, like, about gardens and bees and, like, mushrooms and stuff. I will try to stay in frame. Right on, Christina. Next 30 days of 30, bad angsty poetry. <laughs> oh, what was the poem that Maddie wrote? Do you remember, Randy? Um, <laughs> okay, because I, I don't want to... Okay, I'd love that, Jennifer, if you feel like sharing. Slash sigh. What's going on, Lynn? I know it's just type, but that seemed like a pretty big sigh. <gasps> yes! Sabaya cues up Evanescence. Wake me up inside. But you can't hear it, but there's like the guitar going. <laughs> hey, dancing tree. Yeah, <laughs> you made it. We're here. And we're going to be here all day. Because we've I've got some orders to wrap. Yeah, we were. And uh, we still have, we've put the compass rose on a back, a back burner. Um, but we're trying to figure out how to reintegrate it into the business web page. That way I don't have to deal with Etsy at all. <laughs> right on, Dancing Tree. But yeah, we're going to be here at least until 7. Oh no, Lori said when my mom passed away when I was only 11 years old, poetry became my vessel for expressing feelings that I had and couldn't vocalize. Dude, same. I was 13 when I lost my dad, and it, I don't know, like, knuckle bump. Like, I don't know, just whenever I see somebody else and it's like, my heart hurts like that too. It's just like, boop. Hey, other person. <laughs> right on, Renee. Good morning, I'm not. <laughs> I need to check the size. Thank goodness, it's the correct size. Let's see, how does one of the swirly ones look? So I'm going to try to emulate that while oh, I'm wearing it. It's a bitsy spiral. <laughs> the soundtrack for Twilight. I've never actually seen the Twilight movies. I got to the, well, I haven't seen past the baseball fight scene or whatever was happening. Uh, please don't unfriend me. I know I lack culture, but I just couldn't I anymore. Can't you can't find it? Okay. But it was something about the dog fur being inescapable. <laughs> <laughs> what? Liz says, I need you to do some stuffs for me. Am I going to have to have a Twilight Marathon? Because honestly, Maddie was disappointed in me too, so I clearly need to remedy this. But I feel like if I watch Twilight, I need to like watch it right, which this is going to sound terrible, but I think that means watching it without Randy there. Because I can't get, like, fully into chick flick stuff when Randy's there. Because he's always, like, cracking jokes. And, like, I mean, it's hilarious. But it's, I don't, the full immersion doesn't happen. <laughs> so I think we'd have to have a Twilight watching party. 
And of course, Maddie and her mama would have to be there. <laughs> it's fine. I've seen it 15,000 times, but I'll watch it with you. <laughs> the movies are hot garbage, but I love it. Yes, we should have a garbage party. <laughs> oh, y'all make me so happy. Too cheesy. Because what was the one movie? Because, like, sometimes Randy and I will be in the right mood and we'll sit down and we'll watch something like Plan 9 from Outer Space or The Room. Or what? Nothing. <laughs> Kelly freaking vampires do not sparkle. Yeah. They apparently do. No, I've been learning how to play that song on the guitar. Or trying to. Because I think it's so, so pretty. <laughs> right? What we do in the shadows is hilarious. You alright, babe? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can't get this smushed over correctly. And then, there we go. I'm trying to get it nestled in between the wires. Yes. That way, I will not poke myself in the eye. There we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, whoa! Get the crap out of me. Millie, it's okay. What is it? The neighbor made a noise and it woke her up and she was pissed. You used to be so quiet. Yep, she's making up for it. We shouldn't have gotten so excited about, oh, she's a quiet dog. Me, I shouldn't have gotten so excited. Oh my goodness. How do you like that one, Michelle? Look at that. Oh. I am a dog. <laughs> That's beautiful. She startled us all, I think. Oh, did I make a noise? <laughs> Excuse me. Oh. Oh no, Liz, I'm so sorry. So there you are. What do you think, Michelle? I think that's a couple of beautiful rings. And also, for anybody who places an order, if you're not here when we wrap your ring, um, and I end up wrapping it anyways because we're going to wrap all of them in the live, and if you see it and you're like, oh my god, that's not what I wanted, uh, send us an email. And normally we'll send you an email with pictures if we have to wrap it outside of the stream, but we're just going to be wrapping all day today. So I am going to take a short break. Uh, I need to go to the restroom and like wash my hands and get some water and stuff. So I will be right back.
Is there a Mary in the room who placed an order for cab 23? If you could let us know what ring size you would like. And I am having this little thing that is a Rip Van Wafer. It's a chocolate hazelnut. It only has two grams of sugar. So... I had one the other day, and honestly, they taste like it's a little stale. Um, I think that's what I get for ordering food off of Amazon. Um, but it was really tasty, and it's like a sugar-free Nutella with, like, the sugar. It's good. Hey, Mary, what ring size would you like? Okay, so y'all get to watch... This is my view of whenever I'm eating food. Hey, baby, what's up? Do you know where the uh, nail polish remover is? Uh huh. Where? There's a black tray with a whole bunch of stuff in it on my leatherworking desk. Um, why do you need nail polish remover and cotton balls? Don't ask questions. <laughs> okay, um, they're in the, the spray booth room. Okay. Like, over by the electroforming setup. Okay. Is good stuff, Millie? This is fine. Oh, okay. Size 10. Yeah. Awesome. Right on, Mary. <laughs> That is the face of a very neglected dog. <laughs> oh, little baby. You're such a good girl. You're such a good girl, Millie. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love that little chinny chin chin. <laughs> okay. All right. I can deny her nothing, except for chocolate, because it's bad for her. You're starving, Mama. This is cricket, right? <laughs> okay, so we will actually wrap Mary's next, because that's going to be a size 10. And this is in bright silver and swirly. Mm-hmm. Sorry, you guys. What is up in this neighborhood today? I don't know. Just the energy seems like... Like, everything seems really on edge outside. Like, the weather, the people. <laughs> right on, which you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, Savannah. Yeah, What's up, baby? No more fans. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, I was bracing myself for like, oh god, what did I do? Like, I got shorts. Oh, okay. You're still clothed. I didn't know if I had like left the toilet paper roll empty or something, and you're like, I'm at. <sighs> Stand there like in stands and <laughs> I knew one day you'd finally get tired of all of my shit. Mm -hmm. Ooh, the plier slipped, but that's okay. There we are. <laughs> it must be something, Christina. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to
to do that training bend. I need to be making a bunch of these for in the booth as well, I'm sure. Shoot me. Yep, that's our neighbors. The storms are blowing through. I'm really, really glad we finally got the easy up torn down from the Halloween party. I'm trying to think. I don't think there's anything else in the backyard. Yeah, there's nothing else back there that should be getting blown around. Okay. The hatches are properly battened down. This is a size 10 for Mary. And again, we're coming around the ring mantle. And we want to make sure to be becoming, we want to be going between the stone and that spine wire too. Because most of the time, actually, I don't mind the traffic going by. Oh. <laughs> hey guys, it's okay. It's just Congo. I'm going to shut that window, I think. Could you take the dogs out for a little bit? Yeah. Thank you. Al says, does aluminum wire bend as easy? Aluminum wire is actually um, much softer than copper, in my experience. <laughs> oh, yeah, Mary. <laughs> I love that. That's one of my favorite folk songs. It's just catchy. Coming through, coming around town. Hey, babe, Millie's whining. Okay. Okay. Is I think that's the first time she's whined to get out. If I, if I set her out, will you come and watch her? Just give me a second. Okay. Ooh. Come on, Lizzie. Thank you, honey. Oof, that flash. That blurry, blurry flash. There it is. Ooh, April says, I've been torturing myself with stainless lately. Hard on my hands, but I love the look so much, and it's so durable. Where do you get your uh, stainless steel from? Oh, that's so cool, Mary. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> Deb says, I'm almost done with the work and lurk. We'll log back on when I'm on my home computer. It won't take as long as I work from home. Right on. Well, I was going to say drive safe, but good luck to you. <laughs> That's the best commute ever, I do think. You know, and it was just on there and I didn't check what size it was. Yep. Sitting at a 10. Ooh, that little wafer chocolate thing hits the spot. Hmm. It's a bitsy spiral. Do, 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 do. Ooh. Oh, I love how that sits. Like, mm, I like that. I hope you like it, Mary. <laughs> I just realized it's. Not necessarily just what I like. Okay. Nice. Yeah, having that strength is, is really nice. Oh, I'm so glad, Mary. Mm, April says, I ordered from Amazon. Most is made by artistic wire, but some are different types. Yes. So I can do tinker stuff without worrying about breakage so much. It's more brittle, though, so you can't rework it much. Ah, okay. That's really good to know. Thank you. Hmm. Hey, Tara. Ooh, going to a college play. Well, I hope you enjoy yourself. Hey, Tiggy. Welcome back. comfy too. What do you think of that, Mary? Right, Kelly? Okay, up next I'm doing April Southmates. Ooh, vintage bronze. Swirly, but not too swirly. I got you. <laughs> oh, vintage bronze. Oh, where's the end of my wire? There it is. Hi, that's me. <laughs> okay. Hey, Randy. He's outside. I thought he'd come in. Oh, goodness. I'd have flipped if I'd heard him go, yeah. <laughs> well, thank you, Mary. Um, so with the itty bitty cabs, would you be inclined to do a ring with those? Um, how itty bitty are we talking? I mean, I'd try it. I can't guarantee results with like the wee bitty bitty stuff. Not for me at least. Like there's, there's folks who do like a lot of really nice like wire wrapped and like channel set rings with small cabs. 
That's something I don't have a whole lot of experience with. I need to remember to ask Randy when he comes in if he could close the upstairs windows for me so that if it does get ugly uh, with the weather, <clears throat> then we don't have to worry about it. Preparedness. Ah, ooh, yeah, go for it, Kelly. That'd be great. <laughs> Is that what I had said? Oh, I guess it's supposed to be, what is it, teeny beeny? I don't know. What's a person supposed to say? a good project for that. What shape are they, April? Or had you said? Oval. Yeah, yeah, this would work for that. <laughs> right on, Deb. I'm gonna try something different. I'm going to come in I think I like that I think I like that a bunch actually I don't feel like that puts nearly as much stress on the wire you okay? oh yeah? what did Millie do? <laughs> what would she do? oh okay <laughs> Hey baby. Um, well thank you for taking them out. Could you close the windows upstairs? Could you close the windows upstairs? Upstairs? Yeah. I, I figure if the rain hits, it'd be better to Oh, is it? Okay. Right on Kathy. Ooh, do you know how to make a frog out of wire on a ring? No, but that sounds really cute. Hmm, I'm trying to think. Like, is it kind of that type where it's, um, you know, you're doing kind of the outline of the frog? <laughs> Michelle says we're sitting in traffic in San Antonio. Oh, goodness. I used to, uh, blow bubbles when we were in traffic. I had one of those. You can get them at the dollar store. It's the long wand ones. Those are my favorite for blowing bubbles. But in the few instances where we got backlogged up in, uh, was it close to St. Louis? What? When I was blowing, no, we were in Iowa. When I was blowing bubbles in traffic. Oh. Because it was the one where all those people were on bicycles. Yeah. <laughs> Mmm. Oh, that'd be really cool. Well, I haven't tried that, Jill, but I like that idea a lot. Welcome back, book. How's it been? I love the flash in that one. Gotcha. Ooh, right on. I can't quite get the wire through, so I'm going to need to just... Sometimes instead of fighting with it, just use your tools. <laughs> I don't know why I resist so much sometimes just using my tool, but I get stubborn on uh, 
And it's like, sometimes it'll be like, no, I'm going to do it this way. And it's like, ah, that doesn't always serve me well. Hey, Kirsty, how's it going? Ooh, I think it'll look really cute with that color stone or a dragonfly. Yes. Okay, I'm out of frame for a sec, but it's just because I'm wrestling with this. Moo wee wee, what you doing? I see you, me. I see you looking at me, looking at you. <laughs> she just kind of side eyed me and hopped up the stairs, anyways. Turd. Hey, Jose, how's it going? Hey, nurse. <laughs> hey, cat. Okay, getting back into frame. You okay, babe? Hey, Tweet, how's it going? <laughs> okay, swirly, but not too swirly. I can do this. I'm just coming through. So I backed off talking a little bit and I think that's helped with the cough that I was having. Though also the allergy medicine may have finally kicked in. Though also the coffee is really good. <laughs> so either way, I'm really glad that I'm not coughing anymore for now. Oh, I'm doing pretty good. I'm a little, it's a sleepy, rainy afternoon. And I'm just hanging out with y'all. Why are you rapping? <laughs> hey, it's S do. <laughs> How are you doing? Mm -hmm. uh, the wire that I'm using right now, Kirsty, is 18 gauge. And that's American wire gauge. I'm not certain off the top of my head what it is in millimeters. Um... Mm -hmm. But a 20 gauge would work well also, I think. Hmm. I'm always exploring different connection points. Like different ways that we can kind of accomplish the same thing. Okay. Grilled apricot chicken and avocado lettuce wrap. So green beans and new potatoes and fruit slaw. Sound good for dinner? It surely does. Ooh. Today was a leftover day, so breakfast was a uh, palm getty, which is like palmini brand, like palm heart noodle, heart noodle, heart of palm noodles. There we go, um, with like homemade meatballs and canned spaghetti sauce, just baked with like a pound of cheese. I think I think just half a pound, actually, at first. Um, that stuff was okay. It was like two days old sitting in the fridge, so it was kind of like hard. <laughs> but yeah, and then, um, oh, <laughs> I'm glad you said something. I've got it written in here. Yep. Hey, baby. Did I grab the wrong stone? No, you did a 
You've written me. Oh, <laughs> sure enough. That's okay. I'm glad April caught it. Yep. We got our wires crossed. <laughs> so yes, that will be an 8.5. We're getting three inches of rain in the next 24 hours. Rain or shine, I gotta throw these birds in the bath. But first, we gotta hang out here. Nice. <laughs> right on, April. I didn't know if maybe you were getting a gift for somebody else, but I was like, I thought, I mean, I recall you as being quite petite. <laughs> we're just dainty little hands and everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you catch us talking about food, you kind of just have to wait for us to come back around. Now, oh, but dinner. Dinner tonight is uh, leftovers of uh, smoked pulled pork and um, green beans and then like a fruit and veggie tray. But I also budgeted in, I get to have a Lunchable today, too. One of our, like, little homemade Lunchables. Okay, so let's try eight and a half. I'm going to tighten that up just a little bit. And then stretch it back out. Right? <laughs> Hello, my love. Hey. How are you doing? I'm okay. Nice. Ah, uh, thanks, Tweet. I'm honestly one of my favorites right here. Right, Liz? Do you just track poopy shoes through the whole house? I'm just upstairs, too. Oh, okay. Well, that's good, as long as it's everywhere. <laughs> I have no room to hassle you because I come like waddle stomping through the house wearing my chicken shit crocs like okay up next we have Deborah Paolo Paola I think ooh Oh, that's going to be nice. In vintage bronze and swirly. Hey, Jen, how's it going? Ah, thanks, Savea. Mutiny, my ring mandrel went AWOL. No, Kelly! Uh oh, what's my charge at? 35? You're good, baby. Hey, um, I know you probably don't want to run upstairs again. <laughs> Why, hello? Um, there's a clip-on fan in the living room. If you wanted one for in your... I think I will. Okay. You want one out of the Uh, no, I've got one clipped here under my desk. It's very nice. I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> it did get hot out of nowhere like downright actually hot i was thinking about turning the air conditioner back on today but we were hoping for a uh an affordable energy bill this month whoops where's the ah 
Just zoom out farther. I know you can do it. Okay, I'm going to click the button. And now we're going to be, and then we're going to click it again. And now it's zoomed out, you sassy. <clears throat> Amber smells like shit. What? <laughs> It Definitely does, April. Do you what, love? Definitely could not have been me, though. <laughs> you, you can't just blame all the bad smells on the cat, honey. What? What? That, that, that tracks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're good, April. I get what you mean. Oh my gosh. Tweet says, Who thought I lost a parrot, but she actually found a box and climbed inside to play? <laughs> hmm. It's starting to look on the edge of cold outside. Like, I know it's, it's not cold yet, but just the way that, like, the silver, the the silver bark of the trees, the way that the gray light from the overcast weather just reflects off of that really looks more like winter than I would like it to. Okay, so now we're just wrapping around the end there. We're going to rotate this around. Hey Nancy, how's it going? And coming around this way. Uh oh. Hey Randy. I just chipped a shard off of a stone. That's not good at all. Yeah. This is Deborah. Let me see. Oh man, that didn't right and just chipped that right off. Let me see what we have in stock that is similar to size and shape of this stone. And I'm going to go pick out. We can either give you a full refund, uh, Deborah, um, or we can do a free swap out for your choice. So let us know what you'd prefer. I'll be right back. Uh, I found four similar options. <clears throat> okay. So this was the original. A catastrophe. Aw. A swap will work. Okay. So this was your original cab. And then we have, this is option one. Option two. Option three, which I think is most similar in shape and size. Option four. Hey Gary, how's it going? And option five, ooh, which I have to say I think is my favorite, but this is your ring, not mine. Okay, so if you could let me know if one, two, three, four, or five, and I can also bring them back up for you to see closer. She is, isn't she Nancy? <laughs> She's just absolutely delightful.
I have got to start wrapping faster. <laughs> Option four, right on. <laughs> Wait, we don't have a 27. <laughs> well, now I get a pretty broken cab. Okay, so now Elijah says, I don't know what I want to make. Hmm, do you want, are you feeling in the mood for something simple and familiar? Or rather simple or familiar? Or are you in the mood for grinding out your skill on something new? Sometimes that can help. If not pinpoint what you do want, it can at least pinpoint what you don't want. <laughs> that sounds amazing, Liz. She says, I couldn't have all those glorious broken cabs around. My kitchen would be tiled in lavender, right? It's not a bad idea. <laughs> Are you still not finding it, Kelly? Oof. Oh, that your English sounds great, Jacqueline. It says, hello from Germany. Yvonne, you're so great and fantastic. Well, thank you. That's very kind. Danke. Uh-oh, I tightened that one too much. Well, it's, if you, uh, the fairy jewelry chest, I basically just covered in labradorite. Uh, same for that little shelf, too. So it's from slowly encrusting everything in my temple room in labradorite. <laughs> Ooh. I, I think... I think labradorite is technically granite, isn't it? I'm sitting and it's over there. <laughs> Liz says my kitchen is my temple room. Nice. I love that. That's framing that really nice. This is a size eight that we're making. So I'm gonna move down to about a nine. Ooh, a fireplace with labradorite accents. Musical night opening or musical update opening night was a smash hit. The kids did so well. That is so cool, Gary. Congratulations to the minion and all the other minion type people. The children. <laughs> that sort of stuff is just so much fun. I got to be in the pit orchestra for a musical eighth grade and I had no business being there. I like we were basically having to sight read the sheet music because it was like not that well prepared. Um, well, I guess, you know, in hindsight, everybody else had probably had the sheet music for a while. I had only had it for like a week and it was like a 45 minute production. So... I kind of just bumbled along through it, but it was amazing and it's so cool to get to play with like other musicians. Wow.
That's awesome. Says my son had his belt test for karate last night and he managed to do so well he skipped a full belt rank. That's awesome. Okay, tightening this down. Sorry, I don't mean to be out of frame. <laughs> Gary says, with me spending so much time building the set, they have now become more of my minions. At least that is what I was informed. That's awesome. Okay. So now we are going to, and this is a swirly one. So I just did a little bit of a training bend because I'm trying to get it to where there's a little less shrinkage happening whenever we do this binding wrap here. It's like, I think anybody can vouch for this who is in theater or show choir or marching band or, you know, any of the, the, the parents who like would help on Friday and like help move the stuff and unload the trailer and just like, like the band parents, basically, um, y'all re they, they really made such a difference for the entire experience of being in band. So woohoo, finally off work. Right on, Sabea. Gonna get these bound off. Do the <laughs> band camp never had it. Well, we didn't leave the high school for band camp, so I didn't get to go to the like campus wild parties that everybody always talks about. That was me. I was the dude that threw up in the sage bushes, actually. Because I remember barfing and being like, oh, that smells really nice. But it was the sage plant. And then the the barf smell hit me and I was like, huh? <laughs> I was out. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. One time I marched so hard at band camp that I threw up. Heat stroke's a hell of a thing. And we had a paved practice field, too. Which is just miserable. <laughs> <laughs> Coming around, woo, little tank. It was me. <laughs> Went to Disney World in the Orange Bowl with Hicks and Hires in the band. Clarinet player here. Wanted to play drums, trumpet, or flute. Right on. The clarinet claps, though. Like. I mean, typically not in concert band, but there's a lot of cool stuff that can be done on the clarinet. Oh, we never did anything like that. That's super cool. Um, Deborah, would you like yours twisty on the front? Like swirly on the front? Or do you want it, um... Like, not across the front. Hmm. Right on. Well, hey, whenever you come and visit, we'll have to do a flute session. I have two flutes we can play together. Because if you can blow over the um, opening of like a like a root beer bottle, if you can make it make that like noise, there's a bottle up. Well, that one's got a straw in it. Um, but then you can play the flute. And you, you're already pretty familiar with reading sheet music as well. Like you've you've got this, Christina. Hehehehe. <laughs> Yeah, same. Gotcha. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. 
Leaves are blowing sideways. Ooh, Gary. If you can whistle, you can play the flute. Mm. Yes, I can see some of that. The way that you control your mouth when you're whistling to do the difference between like and um, being able to control that is called your embouchure. It's like how you're moving your mouth whenever you're on the flute. And you can angle the the air, you know, um, to make it sharper or flatter. But that's that's quite advanced. Like at first, we just focus on making like a a noise <laughs> and doing the correct finger positions for the notes on the keys. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, I try to not. I, I actually, it wasn't one of my first jobs, but I did actually tutor flute while I was in high school. Uh, to some of the um, middle schoolers and that was a lot of fun actually but uh, the, the lesson plan focused around solely just getting a noise to come out um, and getting the correct finger positions down before you know um, adding on all the nuance of like tone and things like that like you have the rest of uh, you know your musical experience to focus and worry about tone you don't need to add another thing yet yeah, another thing onto the plate of a middle schooler who probably didn't even want to be in band in the first place <laughs> right on well saxophone and clarinet are i mean in kind of similar right like do it do any of the the like key positionings translate over or hey baby what's up just clearing up here. Right on. You're done, Toto. Thank you. Chugging right along. We're trying to. I, I think you're right, Stephanie. <laughs> Though the mom had, had me figured out at first, like the first like two or three lessons she paid me um, with like cash. And then after that, she was like, well, I have these old, you know, skirts and stuff from the 70s. Would you rather you know, have a couple of those this week instead of your paycheck. And I was like, yeah, I do. So I got some like really nice, like vintage, like a, like super lightweight silk and like really fine cotton, um, just hippie skirts. Loved them. Hey pro, welcome back. <laughs> right on, Deb. It's musically, I honestly feel like I cap out at just being able to make noises on instruments. I've never felt like I've had the musicality that I wanted, which is okay. I still like just making noises on an instrument. I do miss making noises on an instrument with other people, though. Like, I really miss being in band. There we go. That's well, a little tight on me, but there we go. What do you think of that, Deborah? Hmm, <laughs> yeah. And that's, Jen, they have one over in Joplin. It says on their website that if you can read sheet music, you can show up. I just, I don't know where I'd fit in the time and my flute needs repadded and I'm afraid of like not being terrible as in terrible on the flute. Like I've been very bad at the flute for a very long time. Like I'm used to that, but it's just like, um, I feel shy and awkward about being terrible about just being a human in public, if that makes sense. <laughs> 
So, <laughs> ah, right on, Deb. Well, there you are. Right on, A. But I'm actually, I, I'm kind of, I'm kind of shy in person. Oh no! Oh, the coffee's gone. Goodbye, last drops. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's good stuff. Okay, got the last couple of drops. Fairly well, coffee. Up next, we have Leela with a non squirrely. Right on. Oh, that's so cool. Ah, uh, that's fair, Jen. Well, I just, I don't want to be an asshole. Like, I'm really afraid of going into public and, because it's one thing if it's just me inflicting myself on y'all who clicked on my face or Randy who signed up for this. Um, right? But, um, but like, in person, I don't know. Sometimes I can be a bit much. And so I will often, like, clam up and just be kind of, shy and quiet which is immensely uncomfortable for me because i want to just be going around like flopping around like a social butterfly just <laughs> pollinating everyone just being like hi hey new person how's it going what are you doing <laughs> so mm -hmm. well it's I try not to be, Jen, but I, I can be very thoughtless whenever I get, like, real excited. <laughs> and if I'm in public, especially if I'm in a band with other people who are in band, too, like, it's, I can't imagine not being excited. And then it's just, but we have to sit still and pay attention. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Jen says, a Labrador puppy. You're not wrong. <laughs> there we go. I like doing that little loop like that. book says completely off subject but my package from fire mountain gems just came they finished either the dollar sales so i got like a thousand beads for 60 bucks oh my gosh <laughs> about a hundred super durables oh pro we're cheering for you buddy oh my gosh my fingers my fingers hurt real bad Keep it coming, I suppose. Coffee. Coffee for the poor. Please, sir. Can I have more coffee? <laughs> hmm. Okay, so this one's sitting a little weird. He got a dummy thick booty. So I'm going to do another little X here. Here comes the storm. Here comes the storm. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. I say it's alright. Okay. So I had to get a little, little weird with it, but honestly, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice book. There are a few things as just downright enjoyable as doing like an unboxing of like a Fire Mountain Gems order or something where it's just, I mean, beads. Beads, 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 beads. beads. Mm -hmm. Something's stirring up. Come check this out. The leaves are flying up. Do you see? No. 
I, it must be from the angle, but they're getting sucked up off the road. They're gone now. Uh, okay. <laughs> no, really, like, there's another one. It's because they get caught up in the park, in the gravel parking lot. It just... <sighs> I hope we don't have to stream from the basement. I'm going to go around and make sure the windows are shut. I'll be right back. Who's a good dog? So it seems like the front edge of it's blowing in. <laughs> We're being as safe as we can. Um, he did. Um, there, there's a like hole in the window that I cover up with a piece. It's like for a gap that's left that. We like kind of bored up on our own in my temple room that I he I didn't think he had gotten that one. I could hear it rattling. Um, so I ran up and took care of that. But oh my gosh! Thank you, baby. You are fast. Yes. Oh, a close-up. That's what you meant. Okay. And I'm going to be making a bunch of these this evening. So they do stick primarily to the methods that we were doing in our most recent two wire-wrapped ring tutorials. Y'all, these storms make me so nervous. <sighs> like, there's stuff blowing across the porch. It's, it'll be okay. There we go, wrapping around like that. Hope you all made it through unscathed. Yes, Nancy. So that's the front, and then this is the back. Okay, so now that we have bound off the ring band, <laughs> I appreciate you guys. So there's seven and a half. And this is not swirly. So I'm going to do one more wrap around. Yeah, it's, I don't mind a good thunderstorm. It's all the wind and wind damage. 
potential wind damage. So tighten that one down. And then I'm going to tighten oops, this one down. Thank you, baby. Okay. There you are, Leela. What do you think of that? I don't have a finger small enough for the seven and a half. Right on. <laughs> Liz just said my trailer park instincts just kicked in. Okay. <laughs> okay, up next we have Denise Pepin. Ooh, wrapped in vintage bronze and sterling. That's pretty. And Randy brought me a fresh cup of coffee. Cheers, everybody. I can smell the rain through the walls. Ah, oh, that's good but hot. <laughs> Ow. Oh, that's good stuff. Mm -hmm. So, also, let's do a Q&A segment. Do y'all have any questions about anything? <laughs> Randy? Mm -hmm. What was that? Yeah. Okay. That's wise of you, though, book. She says, so now I have to do the one bad thing about getting a bulk order of beads that are on sale. I have to go look up the regular price of them so I can price them properly in my work. That is very, very wise. I have never used galvanized steel wire, Carrie. Except for to do some some actual like fencing ah uh, thanks to know lots of practice uh oh <laughs> excuse me mm-hmm never price the stone at the sale price because but it what if you cannot get it at the sale price again yep Um, one of the strategies that we've used to try to, whenever it's something like um, an earring, uh, where it is very easy to quantify one of these beads, one of these bead caps, one of these ear uh, hooks, one of these head pins, you know, like it's 
crispy, simple, clean, like it's not a coiled and woven earring, you know, something that ta has a time variable. Uh, what we'll do whenever, um, you know, let's we got the, because we bought, you know, a thousand of times what I'll do is I'll price it and be like, okay, yeah, I got that really good, you know, that good price on it from buying in bulk. But what if I was running low and had to get it, you know, at retail price? So I'll often figure up the cost of what it was if I were, you know, not getting wholesale pricing or not getting bulk, you know, discount um, and base my pricing off of that because that way it lets us uh, have a little bit more wiggle room in our profit margin. Um, but it also, you know, it gives us room that if we want to bundle it in with something else, there's a little bit more wiggle room in our profit margin for that. Is that decaf? Oh no, I'm never going to sleep again until I get extra sleepy and then I'll go right to bed. Oh, that's good. Oh, when it's hot enough that you can feel it like going down to your stomach, just the heat. <laughs> it's so nice. <laughs> Nancy says, I wish I could drink coffee all day. I only drink coffee afternoon on live stream days. <laughs> and I'm wrapping around this way. And I'm wrapping around that way. Okay, and now, again, I'm going to try to get a tighter bend like that. I can hear the rain hitting like the uh, window units. The air conditioners. There we go. Checking the size on it. Awesome, Lila. I'm so glad you like it. Okay. And this one is swirly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gary says, I get you. you. Gotta love those spreadsheet hours. I was gonna say, looking into the, uh, going through all the item numbers and doing, you know, through the beads, sounds like exactly the kind of thing I'd make a nice cup of something strong to drink, light a candle, and, like, put on some, like, tunes and just <laughs> look at beads. <laughs> You'd be like, ooh, that's how much the beads are. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> so I like upon exiting the spiral coming around the back under the original band that's holding it and then wrapping around the ring band. I don't know. Hey, baby, mm -hmm. which flavor is this coffee? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, because I think it's my favorite flavor in the whole world. Oh. Like, this is the best cup of coffee I've had in a while, and I don't know what's... I think I finally just hit it at the perfect temperature. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Well, stay safe, Nancy. It's cinnamon sugar cookie. Cinnamon sugar cookie. That, it's so good. Thank you, baby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tracks. Ooh. Sorry, the wind just did a scary. <laughs> and the tree across the way is always like super dramatic. So if we're forced to uh, go offline. Uh huh. I don't know. Everybody who's here who has bought a ring. If we are forced to go offline because of weather, um, what would you, what would y'all rather do? Do you want us, ooh, there's the thunder. Do you want us to wrap it off camera and email you pictures? Is that a thing that we could do? We could... Potentially live stream more tomorrow to finish up any that don't get done. Size 11. Oh, I like that one. It's just a little swirly. What do you think of that one, Denise? Oh, she had stopped by earlier. I can't remember. I think she's busy. If I don't hear from her, I will email her. Okay, we are wrapping one now here for Carolyn. A swirly. Oh, this is such a pretty ca cab. In the antique silver. Right on track. Oh, awesome, Denise. In a size nine. Only. Only. I guess the other wire that I've been using was a little stiff um, because this stuff feels so soft and buttery in comparison. Right on. Well, it, I really think everything's going to be all right. It's calming down. The rain's going. Like, I haven't seen a radar or anything, but it feels like it's here. Oh, right on, Carrie. Ooh, okay. I, I think we have shipped them out already, April. All right on.
one either. Oh, okay. Ah, this one's your okay. <laughs> I'm not I'm not very good at recognizing last names apparently. Awesome, thank you, Pro. Oh. Ooh, dark chocolate tahini with sea salt spread on apple slices. Oh my gosh, Renee, that sounds delightful. So tahini, is that that like cucumber yogurt sauce? Yes. But I always call y'all Drax and Pro in my mind. And when Randy and I are talking about y'all to each other, sesame butter. Okay. Well, what's the sauce that you put on gyros called? Because that stuff's good. Gotcha. Okay. Size nine. Okay. Gonna need to open up the back of this one. <laughs> Y'all gonna make me hungry. You don't want to see me when I'm hungry. <laughs> Actually, I was fixing to have my lunchable. All I've had to eat today is three cups of coffee <laughs> and uh, some leftover palm spaghetti. Today. <laughs> Everybody's just talking about their food now. Eating oatmeal, a pop tart. Oh, Sabea, have I ever told you about a sin sandwich? Because <laughs> I'm about, I'm about to. Even if I've told you about it again, it's you take. The fudge pop tarts. I'm doing this. I can't help myself. Fudge pop tart. She Sabea has been nothing but good to me, my whole life. And now you gonna do this to her? <sighs> Ooh, a lunchable. Thank you, mother. Um, is this one of yours? This has spicy nuts. I don't know. I can't eat the spicy nuts on the camera. I'll get all slobbery. <laughs> Bring me a different one. <laughs> but yeah, you take a fudge pop tart, toast it to just warm. So like low and slow it because you want it warm and gooey all the way through. And then I slather on uh, marshmallow fluff on one of them on not the frosted side. Got to be frosted. S'mores pop tarts would work. And then on the other side, I usually do half peanut butter and half Nutella because that's how I roll. <clears throat> Sandwich that together and then you eat it. It's like a thousand calories for a half a one. It's They're so good. A well, for a half a one. <laughs> like, oh my God, the mouthfeel on those is like. <sighs> salami for your mommy. <laughs> salami for the mommy. Thank you, baby. <laughs> it's it's incredible. If ever, like, it's my sole motivation for wanting to, like, ever do triathlons or something. Because that's the only time I feel like I could justify eating a half a one. Is after running. Or after doing a triathlon. Mmm. S'mores with Reese's Cups instead of Hershey bars. <laughs> Mm. 
<laughs> Somebody says I can feel my blood sugar rising, but it sounds yummy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank you, baby. Mm. Hold on, I gotta go to a website. Okay. Just don't give them all your credit card information again. There's singles in my area. I know, baby. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> Sorry, it's if you want, I can eat like real close to the microphone, but I get real self conscious about that stuff. Mmm. April says, I'm glad I'm not the only one who builds my own Lunchables. I like doing pepperoni string cheese roll ups. Ooh, that sounds so good. Okay. You'll get self conscious for them. <laughs> they didn't sign up for this. You doomed yourself to your own fate. When you threw in your lot with mine. I ate cucumbers in his ear for like 15 minutes. Until he would like snapped and he was like, what are you doing? I was like, I thought you liked it. I was making myself sick. Eating half a bag of those salad cucumbers. Mm -mm. I'm taking a break, you guys. We're just going to chat and eat some Lunchables. If y'all have any questions, suck them to me. Right on. Holly says, stay safe, do whatever is good for your schedule. We're going we're gonna to get these wrapped tonight. I'm not taking any more orders after 7 p.m., which is like almost two hours from now. <laughs> You're on to me, Sabea. This food's so good. I'm so hungry. <laughs> Also, if you feel compelled to send me an email about how unprofessional it is for me to eat in my live streams, just don't. Thank you. Ah, uh, thank you. I put those like, there's like plastic dish scrubbers in them to make them be, hmm, I have bun implants, um, but I freaking love it. And I think it's finally been long enough that um randy had a manager who i think it's safe to say he hates to this day he'd probably just like put a stick in front of her if she was on roller skates I found myself in a car. no we're not gonna go into extreme detail <laughs> but she made his life a living hell for a while and she would wear her hair in like cute little well she would, would do like the really tight little ones because she had like thin hair which i do too but i want big beefy buns um and he, he like i couldn't wear my hair like that he'd be like that reminds me i can't like because i'd be like tell me i look cute because like i'll just get dressed up and then come to randy and be like validate me um and he'll be like validation pat pat on the head and i'll go off into the but i couldn't he wouldn't validate my hairstyle <laughs> um but I think it's been long enough that he doesn't associate, like, he doesn't have that negative association as hard. So he doesn't just go, like, every time he sees my hair like this. Just grumpy face gr intensifies. Ooh, turkey pot pie. Randy just wishes he could have space buns. It's no fair. He'd probably be, like, ridiculously adorable in them i know he'd be adorable in them but he let maddie and i put makeup on him one time and y'all maddie and i are both like this is not fair he is so beautiful with his long lashes and his perfect little face we're just fine <laughs> i guess i'll stop waving salami angrily i mean honestly out of the two of us i'm glad he's so pretty because i get to look at him so What y'all doing? <laughs> like, I just, I need a minute. I'm having a lunchable break. Mmm, salami. This is really good. Eating. 
All right, just take <laughs> Nice. Yeah. April says, found a turkey in the deep freeze last week and figured we better cook it. I think I'm going to try to get a few turkeys this year after, like, the holiday. If they have, a uh, any left. It's the way to go about it, Kelly. Because, like, all this stuff would have just been sitting separate in the fridge, which when I'm hungry, assembling it is too much work. I'll just, like, be like, I guess I'm just going to starve <laughs> instead of getting the grapes out and rinsing them and counting out my cheese cubes. Um, but, like, once every three or four days, I just make, like, 10 to 12 Lunchables and we just eat them. I do one for Randy that instead of salami, because he doesn't like salami, we do pepperoni. He gets the spicy nuts. Um, and then cheese and grapes, but for his pepperoni ones, I was doing mozzarella pearls with some pizza sauce on them. And he'll sit there and eat them with, like, a toothpick. Right on. We had gotten turkey for, like... It was like 70 to 90 cents per pound. And so I got like three turkeys, stuffed our freezers full of it. This is when we lived in Tennessee. We didn't have trash service where we lived in Tennessee. So we had to like save all of our trash and haul it to the dump 45 minutes away. And so the roasting pans that I would cook the turkeys in would just stink so bad and it put Randy off at of eating turkey for I think even to this day he's like I'm I'm good <laughs> so because I was making like like a turkey every other week so it's like they just always nowadays I'd have made some broth out of it I didn't know any of that stuff back then right on I love turkey. Uh, me and Ember both. We'll just sit there and just eat a turkey. <laughs> but I think more than anything, I like all the Thanksgiving fixings that go with it. Oh, really? Right on, Liz. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Our friends with World of Strange, y'all heard us talk about it from, like, Ben and Tracy with World of Strange. Mmm. The best deep fried turkey ever. It is so good. And they do this thing where they make it spicy, too. And it's like, and normally I'm not in for spicy food, but that stuff's so good I'll punish myself on it. I'm like, yes, I need to eat more. It's so, so good. Right on, which you know. Jen says, I've never cooked a good turkey. Actually, I like it when they were spatchcocked. They are way quicker to cook that way. Right on. The only thing I know about that is from Bob's Burgers. <laughs> are you good, Elijah? I really like turkey. I would eat a turkey right now. I go cooked one. Ooh! Zucchini spirals that work in place of noodles. How do you cook those, Drax? Mmm! Right on, Liz. Yeah, smoked turkey. There's a barbecue place here that has really, really good smoked turkey, too. Well, hey, little dog. What you doing? What that doggy do? You're my buddy, and I love you. Oh, it's windy AF, isn't it? It's 
spaghetti squash right on. And I have to get a steamer. Right on, Stephanie. Mmm. Yes. Steam them. Okay. I can just sit and talk food with you guys all day. <laughs> Okay, I'll eat faster. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I mean, when you don't have a lunchable, you get hungry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she is. I'll give you. There you go. <laughs> Stephanie says, I'm enjoying chatting now that I'm off work. Grumble, grumble. <laughs> Mmm. A lamb chili. Right on. Yeah, but after, like, other than the initial presentation, mm, it just looks like a cut up turkey, anyways, and I think people would care more about the flavor than that initial presentation. Right on, Stephanie. We're all having a snack break. What? It's scary outside, y'all. It's like dark and creepy. Oh, it's not like bad. It just makes me nervous. We live near Droplin, Missouri. Well, hey, the both of you. Try all these ham and cheese sandwiches. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get back to work. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna go put my Lunchable in the sink. I will be right back. to take these three and move them over here. We're getting back to it, y'all. Mine is an evil laugh. Hey, Danielle. <laughs> what? What happened? Nothing. Nothing? Okay. That's very suspicious. trust any of you. <laughs> Do 
Did you give them your edge ham pieces? What? Millie told on you. She got them in her jowls? Like, how did you know? I don't know. This is what I thought. <laughs> Nope, nothing to see here. Move along. <laughs> Whistles innocently. How many rings have you done? How many more do you need to do? Uh, I think we have nine more in stock. So nine more. <laughs> no, um, oh gosh. I, I don't know. If we sell nine more, I'll have wrapped 32 rings by the time I am finished, and I am not stopping until I am finished. Uh, don't make that noise. You know, on the other hand, I'm like, man, this is really windy. Uh -huh. On the other, I'm like, this is a good test to see if we put the stuff on the front porch in a good spot. Yeah, that's true. Okay. As long as the molds are okay, we'll figure it out. Yeah, molds are fine. Cool. <laughs> Pro. Hey, Randy. Mm -hmm. I think the back bathroom window is still open. Oh, is it? I think so. Could you take care of that? Yeah. Thank you. Ah, oh, right on, book. <laughs> Liz says I like it better when we buy the rings last minute, so she thinks she's closing in on done, but then has to hang out with us another hour. <laughs> Right on, Jennifer. Alrighty, we're out of size nine. <laughs> oh, Drax. I like that. Mm. Is that right down the wrong size again? It's, uh, it says size 9. I'll do a 9.5. Now is definitely the time for that. So now, down to a 9.5. Ooh! Wow! We have so many spam. Nice. Thank you, Randy. wrapping cab 18 in a size 10. <laughs> oh, that's going to be pretty. It's a beautiful amethyst. <laughs> what up, babe? <laughs> Hello, little dog. It's okay. No, you're so good. You're tangled in the tripod, but you're good. Okay, so again, we're finding the middle of the stone. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to have held you up, Jack.
and bend. Hey, Randy. Yes. Millie needs let out. Could you help me? Millie, wait. Are you serious? They want to go outside in this? Well, let's go. Be careful, honey. Mm. <laughs> right on with your gnome. Sometimes it's a little bit of a blessing when materials get used up because then you it kind of forces a different craft. Hey, Bethy, how's it going? That all she was doing. Yes. <laughs> She's been choosing violence all day. Yeah. There goes the nail polish. Oh well. Ooh, that sounds good, Jennifer. And this one is swirled in. So sometimes, even when it gets weird, I just put my thumb on it and I just pull on it real hard. And it pulls it through and sometimes we get lucky and it works. Gotcha, what you know. And this one's going to be a size 10. I keep forgetting to open the back up. There we go. But yeah, whenever I pass the, this through to make the ring band, I pass them in the center. Well, hey, little Millie Billy. What's up, baby girl? What's up, what's up, what's up? Da, 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 da. Dog singing. Da, da, da. <laughs> oh, Liz. Billy, what you doing, babe? Okay. Yeah, I know. We gotta go take Millie out. Field trip. Come on, Millie. The wind blew your puppy pad around anyways. Okay. Come on, Millie. You go and do the thing.
So we're just gonna stand out here and do some wire wrapping on the porch in a tornado. Oh God, the neighbor's roof is ripping off. Oh no, that's terrible. Oh geez. Put that down and go poop. I'm gonna at least go stand on the porch. No, but then I don't confirm that she's pooped. Come on, Millie. I figured I'd flip the camera around that way you're not having to watch my dog take a crap. Um, right here seems like a good place to stand. If I die, know that I loved you. So we're gonna keep wire wrapping. <laughs> Well, hopefully my dog... Oh, you're such a good girl! Yes, you are! Oh, you're doing so good! She's not pooping, she's just peeing. But, oh, you're so good. Do more of that. Pee, pee, pee. Yep. Oh, good girl. You have the face of a good girl? Oh, that's a good girl. Now, I'm wearing my Crocs, actually. I am ready. I'm gonna flip this back around. If it turns green out here, I'm gonna have to dog and run back inside but until then this should be fine <sighs> it looks like Randy closed down the umbrella for me that was so nice I was worried it was getting blown away Millie stop chewing on that you know what you're fine how about it dun, dun. I know! I don't want to be out here either! Just poop! You don't abandon me out here. Come back. The squirrel just ran. Come on, Millie. No, I know you're not done yet. Let's go. She gonna sit there and dig a hole. Ooh, square beads are infinitely easier to wrap. Right on. off about two feet of wire. Oh yes! She's pooping! She's pooping! That's the thing is I just have to... No, no, I got excited too soon. She only did like a half poop. I'm on to you, Millie. She's like, yes, I pooped, but what about second poop? And the eagle has landed. <laughs> Alright, I guess that's it. The wind's being all creepy. I'm going back inside. The yard's a bit disheveled. I really worry for the neighbor's porch, so... I mean, it's a rental, so I hope that the homeowner fixes it. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> Come on, Millie. Well, we got a half a poop. I got excited and she ran off in the middle of it. So I just get the feeling that... <laughs> that I'm not going to trust her if she starts getting acting like she wants outside again. I'll take her back out. Okay, back to my wrapping. <laughs> Whoa! You don't ever not make exciting noises, do you? You're a good girl. You don't ever let me dim your shine. You make all the squeaker noises that you want. Silly Millie, the poop saga, to be continued after these messages. So this is a size 10. <laughs> it just occurred to me, I hope it's not offensive to anyone, that I was making a ring while, uh, oh my dog took a poop. If anything, look at the much more magical aspect of I was standing out in the open in the storm while making it. Ah, <laughs> oh, that'll be cool what you know. He says, I'll be posting pics of the new tree and Michigan trees we finished up this past week on our Facebook. The new tree has already been called an Easter egg tree. It does look a bit like springtime colors. Right on. Oh gosh, pro. <laughs> Come here, baby. This is a long time for her to go without being a puppy. That's fair, Renee. That is, that is a fair start. <laughs> oh my god. Woo! Oh, tum, tum, tum. Tum, 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 tum. Tum, tum, tum. I gotta share this face with you guys. Tug, tug, tug. <laughs> tug, tug, tug. <laughs> tug, tug, tug. No, oh, tug, tug, tug. Tug, tug, tug. <laughs> Drop. Good girl. Ooh, hey, Rhonda. How's it going? <laughs> I love the stickers that you use. Oh, I'm sorry, Gary. I don't mean to upset anybody's doggies. It's Millie's on a long day without getting played with. <laughs> okay, up next we have Julie Rooney. We're going to be wrapping in vintage bronze and making it swirly. <laughs> Late again. Well, we are going to be here for a while. So, ooh. <laughs> oh, not whining. Right on. Uh, have a good dinner, Daniel. Okay, so again, we come in. Yeah, baby. Mm -hmm. 
book says I've got blue turquoise square beads and 20 gauge rose gold wire and I'm making bracelet links. In fact, they're bracelet links. Oh, right on. Yes, the square beads are perfect for if it's the one that I'm thinking of. I actually think you had commented on it earlier today. Squeaker Morse coat, right? <laughs> you know, that's what Randy had said too. Earlier about I can't believe all these people want these swirlies. And I was like, oh, why? Why not? I love swirlies. And he was like, in the toilet? And I'm like, oh. No, I didn't think of that. <laughs> yeah, that would be really cool. <laughs> One squeak pee, two squeaks poo. About 18 squeaks. <laughs> pee pee poo poo, pee pee poo poo. <laughs> Just puppy talk. Do 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 do. Man, I say some really dumb stuff. Because <laughs> at first I was like, what is it? I'm a grown up professional adult. Why on earth am I. Millie, what you doing? That second poop? Or are you just sniffing? <laughs> Tweets says squeaky toys and parrots makes your day interesting. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just keeping an eye on Millie because it's, I mean, I know that she's a puppy and she's curious and she wants to explore her environment. Um, but it's also, I don't trust her to not be like chewing on something or she just needs supervision is all. Which like same basically. Pull one through. Thank you to everybody for being here and hanging out with me this evening, by the way. I, my Friday nights are made infinitely more interesting by y'all coming and hanging out. <laughs> no secret messages in Morse code, pro. <laughs> oh, really, Drax? <laughs> Millie's accomplished that so far with all but the uh, latex toys, if that is what they are. They're just the rubber, no stuffing ones. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is going to be an eight and a half. Hey honey, I just have the front door open. Probably not a good idea. Well. It's letting a little bit of fresh air in. Oh, really, Sabaya? Well, she's decided she's not going out, so. Door 
door is shut again. It did not let. It did let a nice breeze of cool air through, though. Oh, really? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it got cold here. Be ready. Oh, thank goodness. We actually slept with the air conditioner on last night. Just because if we open the bedroom window, the dogs uh, freak out at every little thing all through the night. <laughs> right, Stephanie? <laughs> it's doing its best. But I was kind of, I've been looking forward to complaining about the cold weather. <laughs> like I was ready to have my heated blankie. Got all of like my shawls and stuff out of storage. Broke out all my wool socks instead of my cool, uh, warm weather socks. <laughs> oh, Holly. It's so fun to see older kitties play, too. Like, it makes my heart so happy anytime Ember gets to rip roaring through the house. So this one's going to be an eight and a half. There we are. And there's still just a little bit of wiggle. Which we'll see about that um, after we've added the spirals. Oh, y'all, my fingers are starting to hurt. <laughs> hey, Lemonade, how's it going? Let's see back out. There we go. Heated blanket equals nappy time. Yes. Ooh, Misty says it's almost 80 in Indiana. I was burning up. I bet. Okay. We've been doing really well, I'm glad to say. Hey, Linda, how's it going? So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and tighten that up. Ah, welcome to the channel, Barbara. Thank you so much for your support. Be sure to keep an eye out for notifications for our, uh, we do first dibs on the shop updates and we post a notification to our YouTube channel members for that as well as our Happy Crafter Club members. So that's something to kind of keep an eye out for. Uh, thank you, Linda. All right, on. Rhonda says, I live in Northwest Indiana. It's been 77 degrees here too. Right on. It, it's a way to be able to help support the channel. We give some, you know, usually we don't have one this Friday, um, but for our after parties, um, it gets you access to the live stream after parties. Um, we are kind of low key prioritizing, like we haven't advertised this, but we're prioritizing um, channel member comments. Uh, if, you know, I sit down and I answer those first, I still try to get to everyone's comments, but I just... I put that filter on first and knock through it before uh, answering uh, general chat comments on our videos. <laughs> right on, which you know. Ah, right on. Linda says I got my candy corn pendants. So adorable. Oh, I'm so glad you like them. I was wearing my candy corns earlier today and then was like, I should change. Oh, oh, the lightning's begun. Or at least it's gotten dark enough that I can see it. <clears throat> so cool. I love lightning. It scares me, but I love it. I just don't want to do the big zap. Oh, wow. Yeah, we are, aren't we? That's crazy.
It's that is crazy. <laughs> Um, we have listed more candy corn kits, um, but I don't think we have any more candy corn cabs just loose. But don't quote me on it. <laughs> right on, Sabaya. Oh, excellent, Gary. Okay, so these are eight and a half. Now I'm just stretching. I grip with the whole pad of all of my hand to hold all parts of the ring and then I twist and push the mandrel through. Ideally I'd have a perfectly smooth instead of one that's got these ridges. A perfectly smooth one um, is really great for stretching. But yeah, that just stretches it right out. Ooh, I love that with the swirlies on the side. <laughs> right, Jennifer? That's so cool. I was absolutely petrified of storms as a kid until, like, I would go down and just, like, play in the basement. Because I was like, I don't feel like dying in a twister. Bye. And, like, would go down into the basement. Um, until we were, the three of us kids were sleeping in a tent in the backyard because it was so hot in the house and we didn't have central air. Um, and so it was like, I mean, it's a good parenting move. You know, if it's so hot, you can't sleep in the upstairs bedroom. Just put the kids in a tent in the backyard. Um, I was in the tent as it was being blown up the street by the wind while the tornado sirens were going off. Uh, and it was terrifying because like it just picked up the whole tent and just moved it um oof. so <laughs> after that every time there's a storm i'm like yeah i'm pretty sure it'll be fine <laughs> and i still love camping too Ooh, up next we have peggy are you here peggy <laughs> oh i love that jennifer I went my fingers through. <laughs> <laughs> like I would. <laughs> okay, can you bring me a hot water bottle next time oh. you have? Next time you have a minute. Yeah, I'm gonna make a hot water bottle. Well, yeah, my fingers hurt. Oh. <laughs> Barbara says, "Okay, cool. I'm looking at other work to add some innovations to my sewing. You know how learning a thing can translate into what you already do. Mm -hmm. Looking at pair wire to order. Basic suggestions. Um." Para wire for incorporating into your sewing or para wire for wire wrapping with? Ah, uh, hey Anita. Ah, uh, thanks so much for hanging out, Deb. <laughs> you have a wonderful rest of your day, too. Okay, so we're going to do this in antique silver for wire wrapping basic learning. Okay, um, 18 gauge round. From Parawire is a really versatile gauge, as is 20 gauge. <laughs> Anita. <laughs> Ooh, buttons with the herring going right on. That would be really cool for a button. And swirly. But yeah, Randy had gotten us this uh, hot water bottle that is like, has like a furry cover. Um, and so it's a really nice, like it dissipates the heat really nicely. And it's, it's nice to hold on to. My skin's getting a little tender. Oh my gosh, look at the flash in this one, you guys. Uh oh, my phone's not charging. Why are you not charging? Oh, because you're not plugged in. Okay. Let me plug this in real quick. Ooh, 
and then I'm gonna light a candle. Huh? Yeah. says how many have you created today oh I don't know uh, <laughs> yeah anytime Barbara hey baby mm. about how many rings do you think I've wrapped today I don't know. like I think 10 Probably easily 10. at least 10 Randy thinks Ooh, burr indeed So I'm just going to cinch that around a little more. <laughs> Trying to be, yeah. That is such a pretty nebula in there. I do prefer doing the training bend. Because sometimes I'll pass and be like, is this step necessary? Like, I'm doing this thing. Do I need to be doing this thing? I think the training bend really does make a big difference. <laughs> Lurkerville. Lurkerville is a pretty good place to be. Usually when I'm watching people's streams, I, I'm just a lurker. Um, hey, Purple Books, they say, I want to do those pumpkin pendant things. Do you have any more of those glass stones? And would a pottery kiln be able to do glass? Um, I think that depends a lot on your kiln. Um, I would contact maybe delphiglass.com or kilnfrog.com, just, uh, or the manufacturer of your kiln and ask them directly. <laughs> right on, Ava. But um, to be able to find out specifically, because I don't know if there's any risk of contamination between, like, cooking glass and your ceramics kiln or vice versa. I don't know anything about that. So, uh, right on, Mac and Screams. Silver plated non-tarnish. Yeah, it is coated, and that's why it's tarnish resistant. So like this stuff here, we've got the silver plated silver. So it's a copper core, then has that silver plate and then has the colored enamel that protects it and keeps it from tarnishing. At least that's how I understand it. Making a size eight. Well, if any of y'all have any questions about wire wrapping or small business running or gardening or <laughs> YouTuber life or anything like that. The more questions you guys have, the more it keeps me from noticing how much my fingers hurt. So please ask questions away. <laughs> what are the best sizes to get started learning for wire? I, I really do recommend 18 or 20 gauge um, because with 18 or 20 gauge wire, you can do just about anything. Uh, before you start getting into weaving. So you could, there are gauges that you can commonly find beads that will fit on them um, easily, which is always nice. I'm going to try to do a thing to maybe stabilize this out. And it's supposed to be a size 8.
Uh, well, I'll, I'll do a hand soak after the fact, but if while I'm actually wrapping, if my hands get wet, um, for like I learned this from like ice packs or holding on to like cold bottles of water, um, <laughs> it, it makes my skin soft, so my skin will actually start tearing, whereas right now it's just kind of sore. Um, yeah, I actually ordered quite a bit from Fire Mountain Gems. They're probably one of my favorite websites for um, trusting about whenever they say something's a metal type or a gemstone type. Like if they say that something's genuine, you know, uh, garnet, I trust them that that's actually genuine garnet. Whereas I've had some sites sell me, oh yeah, yeah, it's genuine garnet and charge me such. Um, but it's, I mean, it is genuine, but it's dyed and they didn't say anything about that. So it's. You know, not that I mind dyed garnet, I just want to know what I'm getting and, you know, pay appropriately for it. So, I, I like uh, Fire Mountain Gems for that. Um, I do, and I have some here, and I wonder, you know, I normally use it right here when I'm weaving. Let's go ahead and see, because it takes away quite a bit of my tactile, like, ability to feel what's up. But I might could use some of that right now. Now this is Next Care First Aid Tape. Looks like I'm going to need to get a new roll of that. Because I still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rings to wrap after this one. Now we're still accepting orders for the next hour. And I really will keep wrapping until my fingers bleed. So please keep placing orders if you feel interested in that. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. And so I like this tape. You know, I really should. I don't know why I'm like that. Prevention goes so much farther than I could have just saved my fingers. But I can always take the tape off if it's not working. Oh, what was the sales pitch? <laughs> Stretching it back out to an eight. Now my beads kind of, my cabochon's gone a little out of skew. So I'm just grabbing it and pulling specifically on that part of the wire. Ah, yeah. Oh, um, here I'll show you. What I mean by weaving with wire wrapping. Where'd it go? There it is. Um, this is one of the examples of wire weaving. Oh, Randy, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Hot water bottle is in hand. But yeah, so how I'm using a thinner wire to uh, weave around the larger ones. Now, I do weave baskets as well if I have the opportunity, but that's not something that I usually be like, oh yeah, I make baskets. It's like I have and can make baskets, but I don't like, I don't feel like uh, qualified to teach it <laughs> for sure. Okay, so this one is swirly as well. Itsy bitsy spiral. Basket 
Do you think they'd... Well, I mean, we have that waterproof knockoff GoPro. Do I... Does all of me have to be underwater? Yes. They've got that scuba shop in Joplin. I bet we could make this happen. Okay, I definitely needed to move the tape up more onto the pad of my thumb. But yeah, I think this is working. Mm, Cricket says, I have done several vendor fairs. How do you find your niche? I do chain mill jewelry, both aluminum and steel. It's frustrating when people don't want to pay. Yeah, that, that chain mill can be pretty difficult to... <sighs> for, for customers who have no concept of what kind of work goes into it they just don't understand um why you know a, a pair of earrings might be thirty dollars um what randy and i ran into uh vending is we found it was just a pretty good idea to be demonstrating in the booth as much as possible it's not always possible you know like hopefully the show's going well enough that you know you don't have time to you know sit much less work on a project um, but then we also would make just some charm earrings, like if it's, you know, a very simple, like a Mobius flower earring or some charms from like AliExpress or Amazon or something, um, or even making your own out of polymer clay or resin, um, just having something that's a very affordable option, um, we found made people a little less sticker shocked because you know they could come up to the booth and be like you know oh i love this bracelet how much is it and it's like our dragon weave uh you know super intense most expensive bracelet we carry with like a rainbow inlay and it's like well that one's 75 but if you like the color scheme we have these earrings over here for five and so we kind of use that as a setup to be like instead of you know, them being like, oh my god, that's so much. It's, we lead their attention to, you know, here's the other end of the price point. You know, not every, you, you just have expensive taste is what we'll tell folks because, you know, they'll be like, Ugh. you know, that one's, you know, so much. And we'll be like, well, that is the most expensive piece in the booth. It's a, a sign of a good taste that you like that one so much. And so usually it helps people to feel less defensive maybe about why are you charging so much for a necklace or a bracelet or something and more of a you know a reminder of quality of you know you're looking at handmade jewelry you know don't come at it with a flea market uh you buying stuff off of wish mindset and as vendors that's kind of up to us to set the tone um the you know so it's, and oftentimes customers will mirror, you know, so if we set a pleasant, no pressure tone, it makes potential customers or just people who are stopping by in our booth, I think it helps them to have a much more pleasant experience. Yeah, Mac and Screams. Margie says, chainmail is a tough one. You have people who love it and understand what goes into it. Or you have people that just don't understand. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This one did not want to stay at a size 8. Not a single time. Through the whole project did it want to stay at a size 8. There we are. Are you here, Peggy? Do you like this one? Peggy, can you hear me? Peggy, can you hear me? We're calling to you, Peggy. <laughs> Cricket says, I absolutely offer $5 earrings, and I'm DFW, so it's hit or miss. Hmm. Well, it's... I have, I have hope for you that it will... You'll, you'll start to get it more figured out the more you kind of do all this. But it's a lot of it is to just keep trying new things keep trying different venues um probably one of the best things 
we ever did was start teaching how to weave chain mail classes um, at the conventions that we vended at. Now, it took me out of the booth, which put more work pressure on Randy, but it educated, because um, at a convention, you kind of have a captive audience for a weekend. Like, you get to see people over the course of three days, and so it's a great way to get to build relationships and friendships and stuff. But on Friday, we would host a, you know, free to attendees. We provide all the tools and materials. They leave the tools, but they get to take the, what they make home with them without having to pay anything beyond their badge, which is already, you know, set in a good vibe, I think. You know, because it's, especially some of these conventions charge such an arm and a leg for, I'm having a finger break. Let's, God, Randy told me I have to stop saying that, but I'm, I'm going to give my hand a little bit of a rest while I chit chat with you guys. I've got this hot water bottle here. I've got my tape on. Um, <clears throat> we would, it's already endearing to the people, especially the parents. We have a lot of parents coming at the anime conventions that they'll take a, the, our chain mail class with their kids. Um, and not all parents. Uh, are familiar with anime or really know what's going on at all and it's at the conventions and they're just kind of there to make sure their kid is having fun and staying safe um and they love that the class doesn't cost more on top of that they already had to get a badge they already probably got a hotel that they already you know all the other expenses of, of existing outside of your home um and the kid got to make something um, that they got to take it with them. Um, do you have a tutorial on the polymer clay half moons? I think so. I'm not certain what the name of the tutorial would be. <sighs> this hot water bottle feels so good on my hand. I'm just doing where I'm basically just pressing my fingers directly against it to get the heat in there. That feels so good. Um, no, it's definitely because, I mean, people love learning inspires people like it's just it opens doors like um you can connect with people so much like teaching is probably the best thing it is not even probably one I'm gonna keep keep heating my hand 100 percent the best thing randy and i ever did for our business was to give away every single thing we've ever learned for free which is very counterintuitive. And we even had people who asked us, you know, back in, what, 2015? No, we started tutorials in 2012. <laughs> um, we had people be like, aren't you worried about just giving away your designs? Like, people are just going to be making your stuff. And it's like, yes, <laughs> that is true. People will be making. But it's like, I've always felt like that with chainmail especially, and even wire wrapping, that it's like, I did not invent European foreign one. I did not invent these different weaves, these different concepts of using wire and things. It's like, you know, we all stand on the shoulders of the giants who came before us and it, it helps the whole craft and community grow to art is open source. Like, you know, and so to, to give it away, to be like, I figured out how to do this thing, like the itsy bitsy spiral. We were at Dragon this year and this dude, like, I was chatting with him about making jewelry and he was talking about he's getting into wire wrapping. And I was like, yeah, check it out. And he's like, I have such a difficult time with spirals. I'm like, everybody has a hard time with spirals. And I showed him, like, I cut off a pe two pieces of scrap wire and I gave one to him just across our booth. And then I was like, okay, hold it like this. And then we, we did the thing and his face lit up he was like oh this is mind-blowing like and and I was like you keep that because I mean for like five cents worth of wire now he likes wire wrapping more like that's awesome and that's the best thing that if I can be doing that if uh perfectly twisted and Shelly Sullivan beads and ZD artisan and uh CSL and Oxana and it's all of these wire wrappers, all of us artisans here on YouTube, just everybody, if we're all inspiring each other and like kind of passing on that learning and stuff, like that's so cool. Like that's a much more exciting and inspiring environment to get to be a part of rather than people being like, blah, 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 this is my design. You can't do that. I did it. Like, <laughs> that's what I think of that. 
<laughs> hmm. I got on to rambling. I'm sorry. But yeah, in a nutshell, I definitely recommend if you have it in your heart to teach um, or to just do a demonstration even. Because sometimes like if you're not like vibing well with people or you don't have the resources for all of the materials to lead a full class, you can still just do a demonstration. Um, and that's something that if you're at something like an outdoor craft show or a Ren Fair or something where there aren't, it's not a convention set up so there's not like panel rooms and stuff just doing demonstrations in your booth is definitely definitely worth the uh, time and work investment just because I mean it's interesting I think it is at least right pro right on Barbara says it's smart uh, for workshops all the time for just the reason of teaching skills nice I really do think so Misty it it we're very blessed. We're very lucky to get to do what we do. Right on. We have always had a table next to our stalls charged 50 cents just for the material. They either took them home to do on a rainy day or would sit and chat. The customers get used to you start asking for more. Nice. <laughs> okay. Back to crafting. What's up, baby? This hot water bottle hit the spot. Looking for cab nine. I'm just checking to see if I've already wrapped it. No, I have not wrapped it. So that's 29. Yeah, put them in here with you. So, 8, 15, 4, 12, 1, 1, 18, 29, 26, 23, 16, 30, 13, 32. And possibly any one of those boxes. Possibly. Seven. Or are you done with that one? Ten. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Here you go. I'll keep digging. Which one are you doing next? I don't know. Ava's, I think. We'll find Ava. There you go. Okay. Alrighty. Ava, you are next. <laughs> Pro. I think I'm good on coffee for a little bit. <sighs> Woo! It's in my blood. <laughs> there you are. Hey, Holly. She says, I love your little wooden drawer you sets. I have six myself. Best investment I've made in a long time. I used a label and labeled what was in each drawer. Ooh, that's a good idea. Did you find that the labels stuck pretty well to the wood? Yeah, look at how beautiful this lab is. I cannot even. Oh, right on, Peggy. Oh, that's awesome. Did you find it, babe? Yep. Cool. Okay, so we're doing the antique silver in a size 7, and it's swirly. Right? Uh, do you want it as the bright silver, Ava? Right on. Okay. We go to our most recent batch we would gotten while we were in Atlanta. But we go to different, not the bright silver. 
Because we have you down for antique silver. I'm just waiting for a moment for so the bright silver we have bright and antique I don't know which one you mean is regular the shiny okay somebody needed a bottle in there bottle for what I don't know something about blowing over a bottle oh yeah it's going like this is Christina still here if you can go like that you can play the flute uh I don't know if she's still here <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can see. Rapid improvement already. Uh, Christine went to dinner. Right on. I am using 18 gauge wire. And I use about two feet of it. Doing that training wire. <laughs> well, it's, we go through whenever we order, because um, we'll, we'll try to order them in bulk. And that way, some of them are exceptional quality like this. A lot of them are broken and uh not that great but i use those a lot in my sculptures and little things like that um but it lets us get good deals hopefully um it lets me itch my collecting gemstones habit while still being able to curate and be like yeah that one needs to find a home yes randy can play the jug he's always saying that he doesn't have rhythm and i'm like that just means you were meant for jazz <laughs> and I, I just wanted to double check again with you Ava is this the correct wire for you <laughs> right on Denise Size seven, okay. Hey, Holly. Oh, I'm so glad you like what we do. Ah! <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Linda. She says, Yvonne, I really appreciate the time you and Randy put in to teach us all a skill. I appreciate the heck out of you, Linda. Thank you. Y'all are so kind. And Holly said, I love your channel. <laughs> Thank you, Holly. I followed it for about two years. I love your playfulness and down-to-earth conversations. Well, right on. It just, it really does. It tickles me pink that y'all like what we do so much because <laughs> I literally could not do it without you. Hey, Lisa, how's it going? <laughs> okay. Oh, don't mean to slam it down. It is definitely clumsier with the tape on. And I don't know if that offsets the ouch. Like, I don't know if the clumsiness is worth it yet. We shall see. I 
Because what is Yvonne doing today? There's no telling. <laughs> I think that most mornings too. Hey, Amy, how's it going? I gotcha. <laughs> okay. So now checking the size. There we go. Whoop. Oh no. Super durable. Same thing she does every night, right? Tries to take over the world. <laughs> Lowers my stress level. Nice. All right on April. We were glad to still be here and glad to have you back. Well, yeah. That is true and accurate. Oh my gosh, I think this one might be one of my favorites, Ava. Okay, so now... I'm going to come in here, I'm going to grab right there, and I'm going to cinch that in so it stops slipping around on me. There we go. No, we're still going to be here for quite a while, I think. And this is a swirly. Uh, hey, Adja, how's it going? Please let me know if I mispronounced your name. I try to get him right. Really like that on the side. There we go. Oops. Right on. Test the sizing. Yeah, and you can see the wire really starts to take up some space. But that's all right. <laughs> all right, on Sakura. I hope that they find it helpful. Gotcha. That's a good way of putting it, Renee. Renee says, I love your humanness. I am human. <laughs> the open, the oopses and oh no's because that happens to me all the time. And sometimes edited tutorials and such lead me to believe those things shouldn't happen. So thank you. Right on. And it's, I, I do envy sometimes the folks who are able to make professional and crisp uh, tutorials. Because uh, I feel like I am not one of them. But also I feel like learning isn't always best done in a tidy environment. Sometimes learning happens really, really well in just a big old bucket of chaos. And, uh, you know, because that's, as artists, that's kind of what we're doing is we're just making a mass of spooled chaos, at least, into worn chaos um and just knowing seeing how it messes up or how it can have how wire can have a tendency to kink how it can just break out of nowhere for like oh i just pulled on it the exact same way i have the past 120 times and now it's now it's 
doing this. Okay, this is new. <laughs> Negative. I am a meat popsicle. <laughs> Maybe, but it uses different parts of the wire, though, is the thing. Okay, so I'm just pressing this into shape. Right on. Right on, Elijah. But no, comparison does nothing but steals... Ooh, caught that one. Ooh, so pretty on the back. Comparison just steals joy. We, sh we really should only be comparing ourselves to ourselves. Um, easier said than done, but especially in a world where social media is just one big vanity metric. <laughs> there we are. What do you think of that, Ava? Did that come out okay? That's a pretty lab. You ever used a stepped ring handle for your rings? I have not. Hey, Quiet. We have been streaming for four and a half hours. And I'm accepting orders for 20 more minutes. Order up, my love. And up next, we are wrapping Renee's. Ooh, in bright silver, not swirly. Right, Katrina? Ooh, this is that faceted one. Oh, so pretty. Hey, Teresa, how's it going? That's kind of nice, ain't it? <laughs> you gave her the, uh, let's keep that away from her. All it takes is one firm bite, and she's in a puddle of boiled water. Yeah, okay. I didn't think of that. I just said it down because I was like, man, I'm getting hot. <laughs> ah, right on, Deb. Ooh, I'm just heating my fingers real quick. And I'm getting hungry again. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. Bright silver, non swirly. Yeah, we actually kept up some. Um, we have a Sam's Club membership now, which is a lot of fun. <clears throat> and they have its members mark smoked pulled pork it's like two pounds for eleven dollars which brandy and i got i don't know if it's three or four meals out of it but it is good like really good and so i think we're just going to keep the hut in stock now um i'd like to see all right on renee is it okay that it's faceted Um, we are not shipping internationally currently. Okay, cool. So good. I, I'm hoping, because it, it's in like a vac seal bag with some minimal packaging on it. And it's like, I can use the little plastic thing that it comes in for like bowls or something but um it's just vacuum sealed other than that and I thought that it would be really cool to um <clears throat> just freeze a bunch of it like I'd I'd eat that and that'd be pretty convenient too I bet but uh we're having leftover pulled pork and green beans and fruit and fresh veggies for dinner right on yeah this is some of that next care tape and it's doing a good job except for i didn't quite get it far enough up on my thumbs and i put it on way too late in the day corn. huh and creamy corn. 
We're having creamy corn tonight? Yeah, we're having pork. Okay. I don't have the creamy corn prepared. Okay. Can you not put any sugar in it for me? I don't put sugar in it to start with. Oh, okay. I thought we did when we were younger. I didn't. Oh. My creamy corn. <laughs> oh, there we go. Water. Hydrate, hydrate. I bet my plants are loving the rain outside right now. Okay, and this is a size 9. Right on. Um, we are doing an auction next weekend. And then the week after that, we're doing another craft along. And we may do, I don't know if we'll do groovy cab pendants or if we'll do some crystal wraps or I don't know what. We haven't, I have not thought about that yet. That's future run to figure out. Oh, thanks, Misty. Okay, size nine. There's that. <laughs> And there's that. Oh, don't mean to hit the tripod. Oh, quiet. I've um I've just taped my fingers up. To the skin's getting quite raw from wrapping for well it says we've been streaming for four hours and 40 minutes I talk a lot so it's probably just four hours worth of wrapping right on Barbara and I'm gonna bring that in I'm gonna press that in reminder that in 15 minutes you will no longer be accepting orders. <laughs> Randy's saying a gentle reminder that in 15 minutes we will no longer be accepting orders for this evening. So last call for, I mean we're still going to be wrapping for probably another two hours. Um, so <laughs> But yeah, this way if you want one wrapped for you. Silicone fingertips. I have not. That's a good idea. Because again, I don't want to lose my ability to like feel what's going on. I'm going to do one more wrap on each side. have to try that out. <laughs> it's a lot of fun, really. It limits me to I'm only really able to do simpler pieces. Um, though I guess... Yeah, no, it's, it's, I try to limit it to stuff that I can get made in, like, 30 minutes per piece. Because then 
if it takes me a full 30 minutes per piece and we sell out of the full tray, then I only have to stream for 16 hours. So, <laughs> and a size 9. I'm going to double, triple check for no pokey bits. But sometimes I'm able to get it done a little faster. Did you find the scroll hands for the auction? I have not searched. I will have to look. Uh, thank you, Lydia. <laughs> right on, Linda. Oh no, Kelly, what you making? My wire is being pooped to me. <laughs> Misty says, I have no social life, so this is my entertainment. Hey, this is my social life, too, so... What do you think of that, Renee? Right on. Ah, oh, excellent. Order up, my love. Okay, up next we have Holly Gibbs. Oh, whoop! Hey. <laughs> Ooh, and it's going to be an antique silver and swirly. stretch and a bend. I really like doing just full okay gotta click the button and then I click the button there we go full hand circles to just stretch hmm There we go. <laughs> Woo, too far in. Okay, ten and a half antique silver. Swirly. Finger push ups, right? But yeah, sometimes just I spend so much of the day squeezing down. That it's really nice to practice strengthening, kind of stretching and reaching through the back of the hand to kind of just counterbalance. Hopefully. <laughs> hey, a little bit. How's it going, baby girl? Okay. <laughs> right on, Lydia. Eight left in the shop. That's a good day, y'all. Thank you guys for being here and helping us to do so well. I guess the least I can do is be in frame. Do active reaching, piano, stretch, pushing into worktop really helps spread fingers as wide as possible and into fingertips. Right on. Mmm. Oh, that'd be cool. Training bend. Mm. 
Well, it's the octave reaching piano stretch. Is that like... I don't, you're, I don't know what that is. Spider push-ups. So the main thing that I'm finding with the tape is I don't feel quite as crispy about where I'm able to apply pressure. <clears throat> so I feel like some of the wrapping is coming out a little gummier than what I'm used to. Okay. It makes my hand look super weird. <laughs> like that. Huh. Nice. <laughs> Misty. Okay, so I'm going to come in. There we are. Coming in, doing our bend. <laughs> and do the training bend. Bye, Sakurai. Have a good night. Whoa. Snagged my tape. <laughs> well, there's a bit of my tape stuck in the pen. <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> Last thing we want is a little bit of band-aid in your wire wrapping. No, I don't actually have a boo-boo or anything, so it's just as a second skin, more or less. No, it's, uh, my fingers were getting sore, is all. There we go. So now from here, I would like to come in and cinch that down. That way there's no wiggle in the stone. Oh, I need to rub my buns. It's my hair buns. <laughs> And this one's a 10.5 for Holly. <laughs> well, it's they take like a really tight, like doggy ear positioned uh, ponytail for the base, which is making my scalp mad. And we'll figure it out. Um, <clears throat> I don't know how many I've made. I've got, if there's eight left in the shop, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six more to wrap. Eight. So it's 14. I don't know, a bunch. <laughs> My ability to do math has completely gone out the window. Twenty-four. I've wrapped twenty-four. You when, when I'm all done. Yep. Ooh, okay. Um, 
Well, it's the numbers don't stay still. Like, in my brain. <laughs> well, that probably sounds ridiculous, but I don't know how else to describe it. That it's like I'm trying to do the math. Like, it's written. I'm writing it in my brain. And then as soon as my mental pencil comes up, the number just, like, it's like uh, writing in smoke. And so I can do math all day if I'm writing it down. But I gotta give it my full attention if I'm doing it just in my head. Right on, Renee. Thank you so much for hanging out. It, it is. <laughs> it is a lot, but I'm very happy to be here. Had a headache all day yesterday. Realized my ponytail was too tight. Right? And it'll sneak up on you, too. Weaving through. Is it time to eat yet again? Why do you two take my hair down and eat? <laughs> Let's stretch this up to a ten and a half. And Sora me. Oh, Holly, that one's so pretty. I love the flashes in this. Itsy bitsy spiral when we wire up. <laughs> what book which says okay so i just opened my first roll ever of para wire i've been using artistic wire brand oh my god the difference is insane uh i hope it's a good difference right sabaya So now we've made the spirals to kind of blend the ring band into the cab. And then we're going to come around on the back side and wrap. And then I like to come around through this way to cinch down. There's that. All right on, Holly. That little flash of violet right there is like my favorite. It's so intense. Good. Good, good, good. I'm so glad, Book. I, I hope that that helps you to to do what you're trying to do with the wire. Because it is so frustrating when your materials are actively working against you. <laughs> And so whenever I tell folks, practice, 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 this is what I mean. It's just do the thing. The more you grind out the skill set, the more you'll build up your hand strength, the more you'll refine and, uh, I was going to say mutate, but evolve designs. Um, and just learn by doing. And don't be afraid of doing. Just, just go forth and do the thing. Okay, sizing up to a 10.5. There we are. Yeah, go try it. Let me know how it goes. What do you think of that, Holly? 
<laughs> hey, dancing tree. My girls have gone on strike. I haven't gotten an egg from them in over a week. <laughs> Lydia said, uh, how are you and Randy coping with all the high prices from gas to electric? Uh, we are hosting weekly craft along a funds. <laughs> Do what, babe? We stay at home. We stay at home? Uh, ooh, 50 hens. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's not a lot of eggs for 50 hens. <laughs> but, uh, we, are, I don't know. Randy and I have been in the habit of still living frugally whenever it, I mean, I, I indulge and get, like, tools and stuff, but all of those are business expenses. But when it comes to our personal expenses, uh, Randy and I, we used to say, um, we've cut so many corners, we're in a circle. Uh, so we try to, we're very good at just not buying things. And, um, we were sleeping a whole lot of sweaty nights for not running the air and a whole lot of cold nights not running the heater. We've also cut down on running the kiln as much too. Just any little thing that helps out. Hmm. Get some good water. Okay, up next. Uh Aang, are you in the class or in the class? Are you in here, Aang? Antique silver, swirly. Could you make mine, could you make it an eight instead of a seven? Yes. Ooh, right on, okay. Yeah, size eight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is always a little tricky when I'm trying to stay in frame. Figured out all these long wires. Sometimes you just need to do it with the stone out of the way. That way you can just slide the stone in. And keep chugging right along. Just laying that wire down. <laughs> Nicole says my girls haven't paid rent for three weeks now. They decided to molt all at once. Feathers everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like a chicken just popped out in the coop because there's feathers everywhere. Aw. Sabaya says I have to take out take my Halloween decorations down tomorrow and I don't want to. Define have to. Because I'm still a fan of Halloween 2.0 for Thanksgiving. It's just Thanksgiving but we're all dressed up and it's spooky season still. <laughs> oh. I love that. Sore fingies and all. I still need to put my girls away. <sighs> ah, spider webs are getting funky due to rain. Gotcha. Okay. Here we go ahead and tighten that one. And also,
going around like that. Going around like that, hopefully. There we go. I think we just mutated again, you guys. Size 7. Oof. Yeah, my hands feel a little clumsy, too. Okay. Grabbing that wire, pulling through. Coming around. Passing that through between the stone and the wire. Tightening that down. And it's sitting at about a size 8, which is just fine because we are going to have the wires going to take right size 8. Thank you for the reminder. We're going to size it up to a size 9. Thank you so much, Ang. You see how quickly these things just leave my brain? <laughs> I'm so glad y'all are patient with me and remind me of stuff. No, I think we just leveled up to another swirly. Which, oh my gosh, I love that. I wonder if that's replicable. I bet it is. Yeah, and it's sitting at eight. And so once we do another two wraps. And my favorite thing about working with gemstones, and even the glass now too, is it so pretty on its own? All I have to do is make it to where it stays on your body. Uh, bye, Lisa. Thanks so much for coming and hanging out. Sitting at a size 8. Layering the swirls. Yes. Oh. Sometimes I just love the way whenever the wire's being all sassy. Mm. This is a labradorite, yeah. Itsy bitsy spiral when we wire wrap. I love my Millie, my Millie loves me. Me and my Millie drink tender leaf tea. When she's a doggy, she goes like. Do, 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 do. <laughs> she said, Don't mock me, mother, I am sleeping. <laughs> I have to show y'all this dang old dog. Oh. You gonna roll onto your back again? She was rolled onto her back. It, she's like dramatically laying and not the floor. <laughs> I love those jowls. Floppy jowls. Bloop, bloop, bloop. You always look like you got crazy eyes. <laughs> She's like, you always got that camera in my face. Right? Just the eyes cracked open like, why is this happening? <laughs> Training bend coming through. Coming 
come around down. Whoop. Good job. I don't know why, but I've started holding my breath, and I don't know why I'm doing that. <laughs> Need to just relax. Size 8. There we are, sitting at a size 8. Oh my goodness. Y'all. I love that one. <laughs> right on. I think I may use it. We have some Arnica gel. But, uh, again, I don't use any moisturizers or anything until after the, uh, until after the stream's over. Oh, well, I'm glad you like it, eh? Okay. Up next, we have order up, baby. Um, Brenda. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Yo. Congratulations, book. <laughs> My hands are swelling. Yeah, the 18 gauge is stiffer to wrap, but I mean, honestly, my fingers would probably still hurt if I were doing this in 20 gauge as well. This is just a lot of rings to be cranking out in an evening. Okay, and this is not swirly. Vaughn activated beast mode today. Vaughn's got bills to pay, so Vaughn is going to work until my fingers fall off. Or until orders stop coming in, whichever happens first. Uh, it's uh, it's a joy to get to do these things and to do the craft alongs and get to make stuff for y'all. Though I have to say, nothing quite makes my day as at the end of uh, whenever we do a craft along and it goes really well. And Randy just gives me like a high five and a hug. Um, he's like, you did good. And I'm like, ah. <laughs> Excellent. That's my favorite part. Because it's like, man, we used to hustle so hard, like, for conventions. And I don't know how we did it. So it feels like, yeah, my fingers hurt. But I didn't have to set up a booth. I don't have to, you know, have a hotel room somewhere. I can just be exhausted at home. <laughs> and y'all make that possible with us. With me when I wear the piece. Oh, that is super cool. Sabaya says, I love these craft along a thons and knowing how many people are jewelry besties with me when I wear the piece. I absolutely love that. <laughs> Coming through. Coming around town. I need to put my phone into charge. Boop. Plugged in charging. Hmm. 
Okay. Yes, Bunny? It took you page 370, but I think I finally found a paint by numbers that matches your spirit tonight. <laughs> Can I bring the camera over? Yeah. I'm already on my way. Okay, so Randy said <laughs> that's a paint by number. Yeah. Dude, I need that. <laughs> are those little? Are those house slippers? Did you see oh, the coffee? A crown, a coffee, and a mushroom speckled cup. Okay. It's official. I need this. <laughs> oh man, I'm whooped, y'all. Oof. That's okay. We shall continue. <laughs> y'all, Randy did his first paint by number. And I gotta show you guys real quick. Also, guess what I didn't do? Guess what I didn't do all week? clean that workstation <laughs> like that little smile that i wrote in the dust has been mocking me endlessly <laughs> but yeah check out randy did a paint by number you guys and he did a fantastic job and it was so much fun to hang out with him while he did it like i can hear the sword going <laughs> Ooh, I ran into this stuff, really. Right? And it was so nice. We took, like, a genuine day off. Um, and at the end of the day, we had, like, a, just a me and Randy, kind of like a drink and draw, but we just, like, I drink water. <laughs> and I think he might have had, like, a Mike's Hard Lemonade or something, but we just painted. And it was it was so much fun to just, like, chill. Right, Nicole? She said, girl, you were supposed to clean that. <laughs> I know. I was so bad. I did, like, other stuff, though. <laughs> Come on up. Come on up. Good girl. Yeah, you can do it. You gotta jump with your booty. Use your legs. Millie. Dude. <laughs> you cannot. Oh yeah, there we go. It's fixing to get the camera. Shame you. <laughs> oh, sweet little thing. With your eye boogers and everything. It's hard being a puppy. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so coming around town. Where'd you find this charge at? I don't know. Forty something. Not as low as it could be. 42. You need to plug it in? I just plugged it in, yes. <laughs> Thank you, honey. <laughs> plug in your charger, says Jennifer. <laughs> Thank you, Jennifer. <laughs> when Michelle and Lisa were in town, the three or four of us were wearing Bon Jolies. I gave Lisa one of the rings I was wearing, so we were team B-Tech. Ah, right on! <laughs> oh, that's so cool. That was really cool, you Sabaya. To the darkness, to the dawn. <laughs> right on. You're good, Sabaya. I really enjoyed kind of swiping through y'all's pictures. Living vicariously through y'all. That had been really cool to have been able to get together and hang out. Hey! Hey, dancing! 
interesting trait. Did I miss a comment? Now, sometimes folks is, uh, yeah, last comment I got from Dancing Tree was just so pretty. I just broke my feet. Um, I guess if you just scroll it all the way up. I don't know, there's a way to do it on the, uh, computer that would be like you can click it. If it like, it still thinks I haven't even started. <laughs> oh, boy. But, uh, there's a way that I don't know how to do that makes it be on the premiere. So, uh, sometimes whenever you're watching, it's not, um, fully caught up. What's your question, Dancing Tree? Because if there's stuff with links, YouTube will auto-block it. And, like, we don't even see it to be able to moderate. <laughs> That's true, yeah. Some keywords do get blocked from time to time. Mentioned another platform. Ooh, what other platform? Yeah, I love coming through and doing that whoop, swipe around so that ah the ticky talky and then the stream crashes <laughs> what about the ticky talky dancing tree the big box <laughs> If, like, I don't know, is there, oh, I should probably shouldn't even ask. Of course, there's probably something going on. <laughs> but I was going to say, is there something going on that YouTube is mad at TikTok or something? Or all I do is make jewelry and eat food. I swear to God. <laughs> like. Oh, all right on. Well, cool beans. Okay, so stretching out to a six and a... It was supposed to not be swirly. Uh-oh. Hey, Brenda. Brenda. I accidentally made your ring swirly. Do you want me to redo it? <laughs> Oh, um, I don't, on, I don't, I've never met, I don't think I have any cousins. Certainly not anyone that, like, my dad was an only child and his dad was an only child. Um, and I've never met any extended family or anything, so if they're a relative, I have no idea about it. <laughs> Brenda, I'll just rewrap it. Oh, I'll have to check them out. Okay, so now I can use that wrapping for something else. <laughs> I got carried away and made it, <laughs> made it swirly. Ah, uh, hey, Pammy Joe, thank you. I'm having a lot of fun making them. <laughs> oh, well, the swirls didn't cost any extra, but she did specify she didn't want swirly, so I want to do right by her. I could just cry my fingers. <laughs> Oh, I will be straight, strong and brave and keep going and persevere. It's not brave, but I will suck it up, buttercup. 
Do, 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 do. So apparently stress is bad for your brain. <laughs> Why do you laugh, babe? <laughs> what a funny way of looking at it. <laughs> but it's I've been researching something called burnout. Um which little did I know is like I just thought that was life now. Whoop. Um <laughs> But, uh, stress is by Adam okay? But no, uh, Randy and I have been in a pretty high state of, like, extreme stress. It's just gotten to the point that even whenever we're not in a state of extreme stress, um, it's like our brains are behaving and reacting like all of the stressors that we've overcome through the year are still there just cumulatively. Um, so we've been self-medicating with paint by numbers. <laughs> Pammy Joe says, what are the band-aids on for on your fingers? Um, it's providing a little bit of a cushion between if you can see how sore my thumb I don't know. If you can see pain that hurts really bad. Um it's just tender like uh pre blisters. I'm gonna need like ten thousand Wandy kisses stat. I don't know if there's enough chamomile tea on the planet. Um, but no, just working on mindset and like making sure I'm getting enough sleep and staying hydrated and actually taking a day off um, was really nice. Okay. Oh, goodness. Right on, Kelly. I think those silicone fingertips might be a really cool thing to try. <laughs> Nichols, <laughs> that is true. <laughs> I'm not even gonna, I'm just, <laughs> yep, yes it does. <laughs> I'm leaving it at that. But no, it's just, just processing it. And my typical way of coping with stress is to just work harder and more uh and i think i should try something else and that's working sometimes just being aware of oh boy i'm a little high strung maybe i should remember to breathe instead of holding my breath all day um <laughs> so mm. I will not get carried away and make this one swirly. Day off? What is that, right? Well, for one, we were supposed to have two days off this week. For one of our days off, I pressure canned 20 pounds of ground beef. I'm trying to remember what else I did. Just a bunch of stuff. I think I edited a video. <laughs> but it had a little bit of a uh, stay off vibe a little bit. Like I didn't have to hurry to get anything done. I was just getting ahead. Oh, really? Everyone is bailing because they don't want to work for a nonprofit. Hmm. So before I do any sort of cinching on the stone, I do want to make sure that I have this sized correctly. So we are at a six and a half. There we go. Fits on the pinky. 
There you are, Brenda. I hope that this is, works out for you. And sometimes you can even come in and do a little bit more of a tightening bend. There we go. Order up, my love. We've got four, five, five more rings to wrap. <laughs> a really long pause. I was considering all of my options. I don't want to make somebody go out and drive in this just so I can be lazy. I've got the pulled pork and green beans. Okay. We've got frozen pizza in the thing. That's fair. Ooh, Deborah, you are next. Right on. Grabbing the back of the swirl with your bent nose pliers. Yes. Okay, there we go. So we are going to be wrapping this. Ooh, an antique silver. And this one is swirly. Okay. <laughs> Deb just, woohoo, you've been so patient, Deb. Thank you. I can't believe, y'all, how wildly... This has been insanely successful. I was, like, bracing myself for wrapping, like, five rings. Thank you, guys. Ooh, which tools do you use all the time for wire jewelry? Um, these are the usual cast with... I then also frequently use... So I've got my bent nose, and these are stepped flat nose pliers. These are what I use for chain mail. I also use my stepped flat, flat nose quite a bit for whenever I need my regular flat nose, but a smaller tip. Um, these are flat nose pliers, round nose, and flush cutters. So they cut flat on the side and then pinched on a side. These are what I use the most for wire wrapping, is these four. And honestly, if I had to trade it out, I think I might do my stepped flat nose over my regular flat nose, just because um, this one still has the string in it, and this one doesn't, so it's easier to use. And then I really like my mandrel pliers and my nylon jaw pliers. And then, like, so this would have been my first wave of investment. This is my second wave of investment. Third wave is a ring mandrel, steel block, and jeweler's hammer. And you can actually find on Amazon where they sell those as like a batch. So it's all together in the same thing. So is that one, two, three, third wave. On my fourth wave of investing is is when I would throw my other pliers, is whenever I would start getting more into specialty pliers and thingamajigs and coiling gizmos and, you know, stuff that it's a tool that does very specific things. These are like nylon gel pliers, but they're great for shaping wire consistently. Why square block versus round block? Ah, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Just because that's what I usually see them as, but a round one would work the same, I guess. So there's that one. Um, these are petite round nose pliers, which if you're able to see the difference in the tips, like that size difference is pretty dramatic. So that's that one. And then I also have my fine tipped bent nose pliers, which are great for like macro mail. We're getting into really tight areas. I'm always looking for that box hinge on my pliers. And then these are split ring pliers. 
and these are crimp bead crimper for round crimp beads. <laughs> Ah, Kelly says, I have some of those silicone fingers, and they don't fit on the fingers well. Right on. Gotcha. I like the versatility of this, because sometimes I only need just a little part of my finger covered, but still want the tip available um, for, like, being sensitive and feeling what's happening with the piece. <laughs> Okay, so this is going to be a 8.5 and swirly. All right, on Pammy. But yeah, in, in general, I don't pay more than like 5 to $15 for any single pair of pliers. Do I? <laughs> I need to order the nylon ones. When a thingamajig, she's got 20. What? <laughs> I think I missed something. Yeah. Practice, practice, practice. Well, yeah. Millie's just making sad Millie noises. Ah, gotcha. Children bread. I've never, I've never seen the Little Mermaid. <clears throat> that one went right over my head well I've never seen it in full I've seen like bits and pieces I think it was one of the things that I was at a particular age that I, I know Misty I know um, but it was everybody was like you should like this and therefore I made a point to never watch it just out of principle as a child because I was like don't tell me what to do to like the world and all of like the other kids in my second grade class um so <laughs> and now it's like I don't know there's just hasn't been a good time to watch The Little Mermaid you're still working oh I guess I thought you meant like get off of here and go watch The Little Mermaid <laughs> What are you doing still here? But, I mean, I also hadn't seen Legend. There's a lot of stuff I didn't watch. How did I do them both in the same... Oh, no. I did them both in the same direction. Whoops. I'll just do this one like that. Eee. Okay. 8.5. Oh, that's so pretty. <laughs> Boo, you're 16. Sit down. <laughs> Sabay. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> Yes, and I hadn't I hadn't seen Legend either, so that was there's a lot of culture that I need to get. Yes. I have seen Footloose, I have seen Ferris Bueller's Day Off. There's a lot of it was I was the youngest of four siblings, and so I never like it was never my turn with the remote. And so and the the my sibling closest to my age was my brother. So I ended up watching a whole lot of stuff that uh, was more age appropriate for my older two sisters and, you know, stuff like that. So Ah, 
Uh, right on, Barbara. We'll see you. Thank you for hanging out. Yes, and this one is swirly. Uh, right on. Still love it, though. Oops. Bumping the camera. Yes, we'll be having an auction next Friday. And all of our channel members and Happy Crafter Club members and Patreon supporters, $1 and up, will be the first ones to know about the, um, the listings. Like, we'll send out the club email so that y'all can, like, go and peruse and see what we have available. I don't know if we're going to be having a member-exclusive pre-auction yet. I haven't talked to Randy about that. Um, yes, I actually, Gary, I was just talking to Randy about that yesterday, that that was one of my favorite movies as a kid. But yeah, my brother liked to watch anything with like aliens and explosions and stuff in it. So there was a whole lot of watching it and I didn't mind. Like, it's not like I was mad that I wasn't watching the little mermaid. I just thought that's what everybody watched. Anything with Muppets. Nice. What up, baby? Four hundred pages of Amazon thing by numbers. Yeah. Sounds like we're going to have to design a three wolf moon paint by number, baby. Seems that way, doesn't it? It does. Do you want to do it but with pugs instead of wolves? With what? Pugs. No. <laughs> hmm, I don't know which way. I'm going this way. Sure. Yes, I love Hocus Pocus. Very good movie. <gasps> Do it with Little Millie. Yes! Oh! A Little Millie paint by number. Just three of her. Identical jowls flapping in the, <laughs> in the moonlit breeze. Hi, Sabea. Man, we were going to try to do, like, all sorts of movies in October, and it, we only watched The Mummy and The Mummy Returns. Because <laughs> we were going to watch, like, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, and... No, we also watched uh, Wolf by... Werewolf by Night. And that was really good. Like, I love that kind of pulp noir, like, vibe. Like, it, it felt very much like the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, at least the movie, to me. And I really, really like that. We watched most of Vampire Hunter D. Both fell asleep. Yeah, we keep falling asleep every time we watch movies together. <laughs> okay so we are sitting at an eight and a half there we are Ooh. what do you think of that Deb Ooh, we've got four more rings to wrap. Order up, my love. 
Okay, so up next we have um, Judy. Ooh, a swirly and a not swirly. Tab 14 gets antique copper. Thank you, honey. Could I trouble... Oh, I'm so glad you like it, Dev. Could I trouble you for some more water, honey? That okay, here. actually... I want to hand my water off to you, and then I'm going to go to the restroom. She got a warm face. Yeah. You snuggling with the hot wawa bubba? Yeah. It's so hard being a little doggy. What's daddy doing in there? Hmm? Is he getting ice? And wawa? I don't know if y'all can hear her. <laughs> oh. oh, whoa, is the Millie dog. <laughs> She's always giving me some side eye. Yeah, getting that belly whooped. Getting that belly whooped. I got that chin. I got the jowls. Oh. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going to run to the restroom, get the blood flowing to my legs. I'm going to walk around for a sec. I will be right back. Somebody drank all my coffee. Thank you, Randy. Oh, little Millie, what you doing? What you doing, baby dog? What you doing? Alrighty, guys, I'm back. Ah, right on, April. I'm so glad they arrived safe. Cerulean, that sounds so cute. Okay, so cab 14, 18, the antique copper, and cab 31 in vintage bronze. Phantom of the Opera, oh my gosh, that's amazing. Bye, April, have a wonderful rest of your day. Okay, and... Two feet of wire. Ah, excellent, Misty. Oh, got a 
plug the phone back in. Shaping that around. a solid smush. <laughs> so probably my favorite shape to wrap like this is the marquee or those like kind of swirly leaf shapes. Um, just because it's really convenient to have that little tip of the stone to be able to wrap around. Whereas the kind of rounder booties of the uh, teardrop and oval are a little more tricky. So that might be something good to keep in mind as you're wrapping your own rings. That you can go with the marquee cut and make your life a little easier, at least till you get the hang of it. So just getting my pliers in there and smushing that out. That fits us a little bit more room. There we go. Hmm. <laughs> Book, sorry, Bookwitch says, okay, I can attest that when Yvonne Williams says pair of wires are forgiving, she isn't kidding. I screwed up and had to unwrap an entire link and the wire is still plenty usable. Yep, I don't I don't lie to you guys. Certainly not knowingly. Like that is 100% been my experience with Parawire. Ooh, Lydia, that sounds good. Okay, so this one's a size 9 and this one is not swirly. So I'm shaping around. Passing that through. That and then shaping around, passing that through, and bring it down. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and just shape this a little bit. Hey, Bobby, how's it going? Coming around here. <coughs> Excuse me. Shout out again to all of our lurkers. If any of y'all have just popped in, um, you can feel free to ask any questions that you like. And uh, like, don't feel like you have to be on topic. You can just chime right in. Yes, no, I, I don't need to, uh, I mean, I want it, um, but <laughs> I shouldn't. No, what I'm getting to now is it's just, I've been awake for 13 hours, which is not so bad. <laughs> right on, Bobby. 
Uh, Anita says, do the stones you're wrapping make the designs easier? How do you remember all the different styles? Um, yeah, and sometimes if the stone is the shape, it's a little easier to wrap. But for the most part, like I'm not using any, uh, these are just standard cabochons. And this one was not a swirly, so I am going to just do a second wire. And there's one. Uh, Ember is probably upstairs holding down her spot on the couch. She's not, she's by her food bowl. Oh, she's by her food bowl. That was wrong. And Z Puppy is either under the table on the dog bed or in the kennel on the dog bed. <laughs> Randy says he has locked himself into the kennel. But it's he just he figured out how to like bounce the door so that it shuts itself. Like it's not latched. It's just Millie can't uh for the most part, she can't just come in and bother him. It gives him a break from whenever he doesn't want wrestled with. He goes into the kennel. Topic <laughs> says dancing tree. And this is a size nine. So just stretching a little further. There we go. Oh, I love that with the vintage bronze. Judy. Good choice on the uh, picking the stone. It's another order. Do you want to take it? Yes, I will take it. <laughs> All right. I don't know if they've been here very long, so I may not know that you're like done. Gotcha. Yeah. I'm taking my hair down real quick, you guys. <laughs> I had a lot of fun wearing my hair cute for y'all, but I need to uh, take these dishwashing. I don't know. They're not. They're not pot scrubbers, but they look like it. But they look like pot scrubbers. <laughs> oh yeah. Yep, and that's just one bun's worth of bobby pins. <laughs> Holy. Yeah, they're Leia bun thingies, but don't they look like pot scrubbers though? <laughs> I got one stuck. Okay, there it goes. Cinnamon roll has been removed. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna... Oh, that feels so much better. Randy just made like he was burying. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Okay. There we go. Now that I've molted all over everything. Okay, so now we're going to wrap this one in antique copper. And this one is swirly. Woo! Right? The pain of cute hair very, very much. <laughs> Oh, wow. War of the Worlds with Tom Cruise. That's a good one. I liked it, at least. It's one of the first movies that I watched that had, like, EMPs knocking out all the cars. and. No, I, I remember. We went to the theater to see it. It wasn't true to the, like, original story, like, at all. I just don't remember the movie. Mm. It had Tom Cruise in it. Not what I was focused on. 
Oh, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> it is, Savannah. It really is. So I just got a second wind. Whew. Hey, Sarah. Oh, you're fine. We're still going. I've got this one and then three more to wrap. And I had said that I wasn't taking any more orders after seven, but if anybody's just popped in and they want to place an order, I will keep wrapping if you find something that you like. Well, I don't know. Are they still listed on the uh, website, Randy? Yeah, if you wanted to take them down. No, because I'd rather make or or make sales. <laughs> okay. I can sleep when you I'm only dead. Work for money. Do what? You only work for money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I work for stuff other than money as well. Like, I'll work for beads. I hula hooped for some cookies once. But if I'm at work, I will do overtime. Okay, so bent that way. So this one, we're going to bend this way. Buys cookies. <laughs> Sugar free, please. <laughs> There's only so much working for cookies I can do if they're not sugar free. I'll have to take the, the sugar sleep. Seven left in the shop. This is, this is an amethyst. We had a couple of amethysts available. <laughs> <laughs> Rich and Gnome. <laughs> How's it going, y'all? <laughs> wow, four of Jupiter's moons. Are you looking with binoculars? Like, what strength of binoculars are you using? Nine. Oops. And this one is swirly. Showed another friend some pics and sold two items. Ah, that's awesome, man. <laughs> well, it's raining here, so I doubt we can see much. Yeah, we got some good looking at the moon last night, though. Yeah, that's true. We'd actually picked up some Taco Bell. And some pork rinds, and went and ate at the lake, and watched the moon, and dreamed dreams. It was nice. Okay, I guess I should be in frame, huh? <laughs> right on, Anita. Just cheap ones? Okay. Hmm, nice deep breaths. It's just that the syst my system keeps, anytime I'm doing anything, even if it's something that I want to do, um, like something fun, like sitting down to relax in the morning to read a book, it's like my brain just starts putting the pedal down and the RPMs are... And it's like, I don't need to be ramping up the RPMs for this, uh, for just sitting here enjoying myself. What you eating? Huh? What 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 you what are you eating? What are you about? I'm so hungry. <laughs> I can hear you crunching it. <laughs> what grind? What grind? Do you are you eating it with the cheese goo? No, I forgot we had cheese goo. You should go get the cheese goo. It's gonna be really good with the cheese goo. 
Are they the salt and pepper ones? They're mine, yes. They're too spicy. I won't have any. Thank you, though. Do you want yours? After the live stream? I'm not about to make them listen to me eat cheese goo covered pork rinds. ASMR. ASMR! He's yelling. <laughs> hey, Stephanie. Yeah, I'm still... You <laughs> tell me you've been in a relationship for a long time without telling me. What you eating? Oh no, he can have nothing of his own when it comes to food. Between me and the pets, we're all there like, can I have some? As we're eating it, <laughs> being like, can I have some more? <laughs> Poor Crines. Ooh, okay. Sam's Club has a big old barrel of them, super cheap. As, do they get stale real fast? Like... Because I always have that problem anytime I buy bagged pork rinds. If it's too big of a bag that doesn't get eaten up, like, almost in one sitting, then it's like a... They're just soggy, stale. No, they don't actually... Wow, right on. <laughs> well, it's good to... That's good, though. I think it's better to be a lightweight with alcohol than to be, you know, having to drink a lot more to get the same effect. I've always been real happy to be a lightweight. It takes me about half of a Mike's Hard Lemonade to get me where I'm going and then I am good. Yay! I wouldn't try to steer you wrong, honey. It is, and it sounds so good. Like, my mouth is watering. I just want to listen to you eat them. Eat another one. <laughs> A snap lid. Okay. Mm. And then what would I do with the barrel afterwards? <gasps> Can I oh, what's the shape of the barrel? Like, is it like a cheesy poofs barrel? What are you thinking? I know exactly what you're thinking. What am I thinking? You're thinking fairy house. I was thinking mushroom capped fairy house. You're entirely correct, sir. <laughs> Technically, you are correct. Did you know it was going to have a mushroom on top of it? Of course. Ah! Okay. <laughs> but yes, how big is it? Because I need to make a, I need to make a thing out of it. Ooh. Ah. Ooh, Misty, I love that. <laughs> Cheesy poofs barrel kind of barrel. Yes! Mm. I know what I'm getting. Hey, Randy. Huh? I figured out what I want to make for our next junk food night. What? Okay. So you know that cheese recipe that we found last night that looked like it'd be all ooey gooey and good? Which one? We watched seven. <sighs> um... I don't know. I want to try the one that's Velveeta and cream cheese based with all the other like Guver and cheddar and stuff in it. Yeah. And then I want to try one that's all those cheeses without the Velveeta in it to see which we prefer. So we're going to need to do some science. But once we figured it out, we put the cheese sauce on burnt ends pork and then eat that with pork rinds. What do you think? Because it's kind of like pork, it's like pork nachos, but keto. <laughs> bon and Randy sharing a brain cell. <laughs> I think it was mine and she keeps stealing it. <laughs> the brain cell? <laughs> oh my goodness. Mm, it's keto. I've been eating like that since June and losing 30 pounds. It's it's ridiculous. Like the, the weird crap I've eaten that I'm like, there's no way I'm going to lose weight eating this. Like a crack chicken, which is like ranch seasoning, cream cheese, and like chicken breast and some other stuff. Um, and it's, it's just amazing. It's delicious. And if it's working, it's working. Woo, there we go, Judy. What are burnt ends, Misty? Ooh, we got three more rings. We're doing it. Oh, and then I'm going to eat. I'm going to eat so much pulled pork. Approximately five ounces. 
Ooh, brie cheese warmed up with whole cranberry sauce on top. I can't remember how she did it, but my friend Tracy was World of Strange. You should go buy t-shirts from them if you guys like t-shirts. <laughs> or if you know people who like t-shirts. But she fed me, and other people too. There were other people there. But she makes the best brie I have ever had. And I think it had pistachios and honey on it or something. I don't know, but it was the yummiest thing in the whole wide world. And she made it in this little, like this cute little cast iron skillet. Oh, mm. oh yes. Best in slot gaming thing. Right on. <laughs> Just keep talking to me about cheese, you guys. Because I never thought I would like cheese with honey on it as much as I actually do. It's amazing. <laughs> Lydia's like Randy feed Vaughn. <laughs> Not until everyone else is ravenously hungry. <laughs> and then I will have done my work. Ooh, chicken casserole, dancing tree. Remind me to send you my recipe for jalapeno cranberry dip. Okay. Hey Liz. Will you send me the cranberry jalapeno dip? What do you dip in it? Like just anything? Everything? I bet that'd be good on turkey. Maybe. I don't know what's in it. I don't know why I got so angry. Or anything. <laughs> I was like, I bet that'd be amazing on turkey. So, okay. This one. Antique copper and smoothie. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Ooh, just finished pot roast. <laughs> Ow. Oh, I just hit myself in the face with the wire. It sprung around and got me. Ooh. Oh, full. That sounds really good, J Max. I'm always afraid that I'm pronouncing it wrong. The whole world smells like damp. At least in my neck of the woods. My little bubble smells damp. Blueberry garlic jam. <gasps> it's so good with brie cheese too. I have not. Ooh. I would though. Because I like blueberry and I like garlic. I've never had them together though. Hey, Wayne. Hey. <gasps> Can I eat that? What's that? Can I have that? Can I... No, but I want that. Why are you eating it? That's I wanted that to be for me, though. <laughs> it's going to be spicy in it. Uh, ah. I was going to ASMR into the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's really good with the cheese sauce, baby. Right? Oh, my gosh. Wow. That was... I'm so hungry. <laughs> okay. Oh, my gosh. Randy. That's some good stuff. Sorry if y'all could hear me eating the... <laughs> the pork grind. Which kind of cheese was that? Is that the Frito cheese or the nacho cheese from the, like, the Great Value stuff? That's my cheese. That's a big one. That's better than the stadium cheese, I think. Yes. That's okay. why I got it. <laughs> You're correct to have done that. So they says she'll have one, too. <laughs> We've lost 20 viewers. You can't keep doing this. <laughs> yeah, I am, and I will. Hey, Skander. How's it going? Did someone say cheese? <laughs> hey, Psych. Just crushed up blueberries into a sauce. Fresh. Oh, on salmon? Hey, Chelsea. Is that? That's Chelsea? Yeah. Hey, Chelsea, how's it going? I feel kind of awkward. I watch you play video games and listen to you play your ukulele on Twitch. <laughs> Tis me. <laughs> well, thanks for stopping in. Oh, nap sound nice. Okay, pulling this through. Yeah, I gotta stop. <laughs> Right? These are a little too hard. Ah, uh, gotcha. 
T-bone line, see? You want some cheese on the stir? <laughs> Okay, so now in this one is cab six, so it's going to be swirly. I'm going to go ahead and do that cinch bend. Yes, there we go. And now we don't have any wiggle on the stone. We really appreciate it. Y'all, uh, PsychobaCon is one of the Twitch streamers that got Randy and I through DragonCon prep. <laughs> right on. Well, I'm glad you like them. Okay, and this is a size seven and a half, so let me scale down a bit. I don't know why you can't stay in frame today. I'm just going to zoom out as far as I can and just try to... Whoop. Are you zoomed in too far? I, I don't know. No. <laughs> I just keep wandering out of frame because I keep hitting the uh, tripod. What did I get stuck on? Oh, there we go. What up, babe? Just Ooh. Your interesting techniques. <laughs> what do you mean? Smacking the camera. <laughs> well, how do you make jewelry if not smacking the camera with it? You know, you're right. Don't you sass me, Squatch. <laughs> no, I love your input. Seven and a half. And this one, ooh, is swirly. I love doing a swirly one. Oh, my hands are like all sweaty. Which is exactly what people want to hear when I'm wrapping their jewelry. It's a method. Okay. Okay. Okay, I regret beating you guys, but now you won't leave me alone. <laughs> Is that what you say about me when I'm not around? <laughs> I regret feeding you because now you won't leave me alone. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good to hear, Skinder. Yeah, just coming around. Oh, that's such a pretty lab. <laughs> right on, Misty says, I'm still here. I'm watching on my Roku. I don't know if I show up as a viewer when I'm watching on my TV. I usually try to leave my phone open in case I want to comment. Right on. Are you commenting on your phone, or did you... Are you able to comment on TVs? <laughs> no, it sounds like you have a beautiful family. You sound very lucky. Hello, my fur covered mongrels. She doesn't have any food either. <laughs> yep. Oh, they noticed, and then they're like, then what good are you, mother? Yeah, he's such a good boy. I was hoping that it'd get a little colder than what it is, because it's still too warm for us to finish moving up to the attic. Because uh, that's where we sleep in the winter because it's got a bigger bed up there. And that way, it's not so bad having all the animals in the bed with us. Oh, I'm American. America. Sabaya is like, Mother, I crave cheese. <laughs> Me too, buddy. Me too. <laughs> The thing is, Randy's come into the kitchen and seen me and he eaten like shredded cheese out of the fridge before. It's usually after midnight. It is usually after midnight. 
specifically to prove that I am not a gremlin. Okay, seven and a half. Let's see how I did. Let's get this stretched. The Jim Mogwai, yeah. Okay, so I don't have a finger small enough to try on the seven and a half, but it's sitting at seven and a half. Ooh, yeah, I like. There's some cheeses that I'll just eat straight, like any of the cheddars. I will eat just a block of it. I would take a bite out of a block and enjoy myself. But there's a lot of other cheeses that I like them on and or with things. Whoop. So there we are. There's a nice swirly ring. I really like that one. I love the longer rings, really. Make me feel so, like, sassy. <laughs> okay. Ooh, this one's Antique Copper too. Cab 11 and Antique Copper. Also swirly. <laughs> right on, Dancing Tree. It's the entirety. Oh, Randy brought me more water. Thank you, baby. Oh my gosh, Munster cheese is so good. Not to keep having family secrets, but if you put that up with the uh, tuna. Mm-hmm. Mm. Munster and tuna goes really well together. <laughs> Okay. Oh, last two rings, y'all. The greatest things I love about this bracelet link is they don't have to look uniform. Each one can be the slightest bit different as long as they carry the same basic shape. They work. Yep. Dude, Use, using the wire tone or the metal tone that, you're, um, that you've picked and the beads themselves, sometimes those two elements can carry through an entire piece and make it look cohesive, even if your technique's a little on the more organic side. Because I, I hesitate to call it messy because it's I don't think it necessarily is. And there's a fine line between organic and messy sometimes. But mm. also art is subjective, so if you like it, then who cares? So, like, you know, other than you. Okay, coming in. Doing the bend. Well, I do, I care. Do what, babe? I said, I do, I care. Randy says, I do, I care. Mmm, gotcha, Misty. I've had too many pepper jack cheeses that taste like as though they were made with pickled jalapenos, which I like fresh jalapenos. I very much do not like pickled jalapenos. They all just taste like stomach acid, kind of. Like they have that, like this very acidic smell to it that I just, nope, I'm good. I think I worked around them too much working the uh, junior varsity concession stands when I was in marching band. They let us do that as like a fundraiser. Um, and then whenever I worked at Taco Bueno, just too much of those vinegary. Ooh, eating casserole in recliners. Yes. Oh, I love that dancing tree. <laughs> I want to be a cave troll. I want a recliner. I want casserole. What What kind of casserole? <laughs> Sabayas is thinking about jalapenos. Gives me heartburn. That's fair. They are an early in the day food. Chicken? Yeah. Chicken casserole? That's right. Say, were you not paying attention to I have two brain cells. So I was, but it's gone. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> yeah, this nail polish did not hold up today. That's okay. <laughs> Live in the dream. Yes. Ah, oh, well, thanks for coming by, Skander. Live in the 
stream. Okay, and this is seven and a half as well. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Ultra Pro quality. Gosh darn it. surprise it would have been spoiled now oh really yeah. <laughs> yep i just poked everybody in the eye i don't know if i should talk about your surprise yeah probably not okay what is this hmm. it's a hair tie or it was oh no man she is quick and sneaky <laughs> i thought i left that literally in my shoe I don't know when, how she got it. But yeah, I ordered and I was trying to get ahead of the curve and ordered Randy a Christmas present. It's something that like just in passing conversation, he was like, man, I would really like that. Like it's like a movie memorabilia thing. Um, and I found it on eBay. And I was like, you can't check the email because he's been helping me keep up with emails or try to. We've been a little swamped. Um, and like not three minutes after we had the conversation, he was like, yeah, okay. And I was like, it should be fine. Cause I've already gotten like the order confirmation email. They sent like seven other order confirmation emails. And he, he was like, I'm so sorry, but that's a really thoughtful gift. <laughs> so I was excited. I was going to make him like a little gift basket of all the uh, stuff from the movie. Hey, Linda. I'm glad you're still watching. I have to say, my fingers hurt, but my heart is full. I have had such a nice time hanging out with you guys. Thank you so much for being here and keeping us company. Ow, I just stabbed myself. Still happy to be here. <laughs> no surprise for you to the random. Yeah, and it's like, I don't I don't know what I'm going to get him now. For, I mean, I'm still getting him that, but i got to come up with yeah, something else yeah, for Christmas. Oh, is it? Is that why they sent another email? Yep. That's great. <laughs> hey, baby. Mm -hmm. Would you mind taking Millie out for me? I know. But she's sitting by the door in her power squat the way she does. Okay. But you, like, you have to walk with her off the porch and, like, shine the flashlight on her. Because she doesn't like to stand in the wet grass. My goodness, do you want to do it? No. Okay, then let okay, me handle it. Okay, that's fair. That's a good point. Thank you, honey. <laughs> Just let me micromanage you. <laughs> He's so sweet to put up with me. Turkey butt by the door, right? Yep. Uh, everything on the porch can't wet. <gasps> yeah. Including my uh, shoes on the porch. No! Oh, soggy shoes. Well, now you got soggy poop shoes. <laughs> no, really, that's. I'll send you a picture of it, Sabaya. Seven and a half. I sized it up a little too large. And there we are. Seven and a half. <laughs> but I love that now that he's not in here. What are you really getting him? <laughs> 
All right, guys, we are on to our very last ring of the evening. Oh, I'm so excited. I, really, I can't thank you guys enough for being here and just... This, this has gone way better than our, our wildest hope of how well it would go. Like, we, were, we really had been bracing ourselves for, like, the worst holiday season. Uh, so, thank you, guys. <clears throat> okay, so this one is going to be a size 8.5. It's swirly. It's an antique silver. Kay, are you in here? Oh, no, Kelly. <laughs> Seven by seven rings, quick! I don't know if I would cry more, well I would cry, but I don't know if it'd be more out of joy for having sold out, which is like phenomenal, or because I'd have to wrap seven more rings. <laughs> Cause like the workaholic in me is like, mm, and but the my fingers are like, eh. Eh, eh. Ah, I'm just complaining. Back to work. So I think this finger is fine with the next care tape. I think these two fingers could definitely benefit, or like I would try out one of those. Uh... Ooh, maybe. I may just wrap them for the booth actually, because we do need booth inventory and I love this design. <laughs> so I guess this is when your manager asks if you want overtime and you say yes, knowing you haven't slept in a week. Yeah. I'm really glad that Randy and I have always prioritized getting as much sleep as often as possible all of the time. Because I think otherwise we would have just died. Like just, like actually probably literally. Because uh, you can't be getting sleepy behind the wheel when you're out driving and stuff. You're supposed to get at least a 15 minute break for every four hours you work. You should talk to your boss about that. I don't know if uh, Ember is receptive to feedback about my breaks. <laughs> there we go. She is a tough boss. She says get back to work, human. Six hours and thirty two minutes is what we've been streaming so far. I think that's a pretty ooh, pretty fair work day. Doing that little bit of a bend. Whew. Okay. I'm gonna see. Woo! Oh, there goes the <laughs> this nail polish. Never stood a chance, did it? No, I can't. That's not wise. I didn't realize how soft my skin would be underneath the uh, the tape. I think so. Okay. <laughs> right on. Size eight and a half. Hooray! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Same Nicole. The baby needs new shoes. It's me. I am baby. I need new shoes. <laughs> Actually, I'm pretty good shoes right now, fortunately. Sounds like Z and Millie are wrestling. <laughs> Misty said shoes are overrated. In our house, I love wearing shoes because we have a... 
we'll get splinters in our socks otherwise. But typically I do like to be barefoot if I'm on like carpet or something. Well, hey doggy. <laughs> I choose violence. Hey, little girl. Okay. It's a start. You are soaked. Desperately wants to eat Z. <laughs> yeah. Also, do you happen to remember what stone you put in Maddie's green catcher? If she could send a picture, that would be best. That would be best. That was a few years ago. <laughs> right, Kelly? <laughs> Okay, how to stretch real quick. Excellent. Let me check the size. I am so excited that this is my last thing for the day. Yes, freshly vacuumed carpet is so, so nice. What? Hot girls here? No way. You know, say it right. Sweaty girls. There's sweaty girls here. I'm sweaty. <laughs> Whose old account was that? <laughs> Pro's been real quiet. <laughs> We're all hot for crafting, says New Steve. No! <laughs> well, I mean, yes, but only because the air conditioning's not on. Do it, Randy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, well, I take the dog out and I miss a troll? Yeah. No! There were hot girls there. Where? In their loot. I don't know, honey. Well, it's got a heart and some sweating. <laughs> and they really like eggplant and peaches. It is weird. <laughs> right, Nicole? <laughs> Same, Misty. <laughs> Ooh, lolly, hot girls. <laughs> I worry I might have made it too small. Let me. Why are you so angry? He's been eating in just a little while. He's old. He needs a break. He just woke up two minutes ago. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to do some hammering on this one. So what I'm doing here is I'm using a nylon jaw hammer, or nylon head hammer. And what this does is it flattens the spirals. There we go. The eight and a half. Um, yes, thank you, honey. You're perfect. I wasn't certain if I was done with what you had grabbed. Ooh. Right on, Misty. Also, I know what to get someone for Christmas now. Okay. I'm not going to say because you're on stream. Gotcha. Ooh, there we go. Oh. <laughs> J-Max. Oh, well, I hope you like that dancing tree. Okie dokie. All right, guys. So, that was our stream for today. I'm going to take off the rest of my tape. Ooh. Hold on, I'll put some clothes back on. 
I got <laughs> dirt lines from not the wire, but the aluminum mandrel because the aluminum oxidizes. I believe oh, these, the tape's falling apart on me actually. Guys, we did it! We did it! We did all the things and the stuff. Oh. <laughs> Ow. That's that's the feeling of accomplishment. You did it! Congratulations. I'm gonna take this from you now. Goodbye. Okay. Hey, I'm hungry. Oh. We're gonna go eat some leftovers and a fruit and vegetable tray. I that... can wait. <laughs> wait on what? Oh. We're eating dinner. <laughs> like... <laughs> Well, I mean, maybe after some pork rinds, it'll change your mind. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> but I'm fixing to fight. I'm like, it's dinner time, honey. Oh. <laughs> Don't turn your rings around on me. I know <laughs> Thank you guys so, so much for coming and hanging out. Um, we will have tomorrow at noon... I know. I keep, I'm experimenting with print time slots. So, thank you for everybody. For... The This week on the homestead. Oh. Because we're doing two videos a week yeah, yeah, over there yeah. as well because Reasons. I forget. I don't, know. I don't know. It was something about appeasing the algorithm, but also I was going to do a long format and a short format video. I'm really bad at making short stuff. Wait, what's up? Oh, oh what? Oh, buddy, hey, honey. Food. Kelly ordered a ring. I'm not done. Okay. Don't throw that. He was playing with the dogs. We're not done yet. Psych. We've got more <laughs> rings to wire wrap. Ah. <laughs> but yeah, tomorrow at noon we'll be doing it this week on the homestead. We have two more rings to rings to. Ha. Huh? <laughs> two orders. Oh, okay. So close to dinner. I know. I'll just I'll just drink some water. It's a testament to how much I love you, Kelly. That I'm not like, man, that sucks. <laughs> I just go in and eating some dang old barbecue. <laughs> Rest in peace, Vaughn's fingers. <laughs> I don't know. I saw a kid do that once, and now this is the thing I do dabbing. Oh, no. Yeah. No, I did it twice just in no. case they missed it the first time no. so they know how cool I am. No. <laughs> Liz is like, oh, I should go order one. Not gonna lie. Business running Vaughn is like, yes, yes, you should. <laughs> but. Vaughn, who wants dinner and a nap for nine hours, it's like, yeah. <laughs> when you say you're fine, but you're not really fine, and you, and you have to pretend that it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> Man, and I was, I was going to take, like, <sighs> I was so close. It's been hard not to order one, says Misty. <laughs> well, good news. <laughs> Linda says my kid does that. <laughs> Best way to, if you have, like, uh, kids or teenagers in your life who do a thing that you find, like, crazy annoying, um, just, do just start doing it, too. They will stop so fast. <laughs> they will either stop or it won't bother you anymore. Yep. Either way, it's a win. Yeah, that's a good point. Brady says either they stop or it'll, it just won't bother you anymore. Because now you're both doing it. <laughs> Carrie says, I want one so bad. Well, I think we have, what, six or seven six left? Six left. Oh my gosh. Okay. Bright silver swirly. I'm not going to do that you to you. Because I was looking at it and I was like, we've got this setting that I wove earlier. <laughs> I'm going to ask you, Kelly, I will wrap you one fresh from scratch, if and you want, but also, there's this one <laughs> from earlier that maybe if you want me to try to see if I could, if I could put your cab into it. A lot of people don't know this, but you can put your cab in there. You can put your cab in there. So let me see, I just want to see if I can do it, if there is interchangeable, because this one's significantly thicker than the... It's bright silver and it's swirly. I might have to size it down. It depends entirely on what mm, it fits. Zoom in, Mama. Sorry, here we come, Kelly. It's like you do with his teeth. I was gonna say you can leave it in there. What? Leave what in there? 
Let me see if, what size is this? It's a size six, Kelly. Oh, I just gently placed it. Let me flip around so you can see what it is that I'm doing. Cause I really like 100% if any part of you is like, I want you to wrap it fresh. Do it over, Vaughn. Then I will. It, no. The rebel out of control. Don't you sass talk her. Well, I'm going to take her toys is what I'm going to do. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay, oh, so I'm going to cinch oh, that in. Which way are you going? Why don't we go to You okay, baby? I deserved it. You deserved it. Okay, Seth got engaged. That's a size six. Give me a toy. Yeah, I need to take the squeaker out of it. <laughs> Doing a little bit of final shaping. What do you think, Kelly? You know, there are dogs trying to sleep elsewhere in the world. <laughs> so you're being a jerk. There's that nice flash. Now, I can take it back out. Whoop! Oh, Jimmy. Oh. Yeah, it's in there. <laughs> Super durable! Woke <laughs> Thor from his nap. Oh, no! Oh, hand massage gloves would be super cool. No. It's the, uh... Yeah, the cab is, you can see there's no wiggling. And it's all swirly, right? It's like it was waiting on you. And I kind of position that. Don't you want to take a nap? Mm. <laughs> Just drop it on the floor. It's not the same. You have to, like, throw it. And that one's still got a little bit more wiggle to it than I think what I would like. Well, now you only have the other one. That was actually, yours was the last one of the order. I think I chewed up the wire just a little bit right there. I'm going to go ahead and rewrap this for you, Kelly. But do you like that style? Yes, okay, excellent. But yeah, so if anything, that can be used as an example of how you can make one and then like change out the stones. Uh, if you are selling in a booth or something. Yeah, oh, that would be cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, doggy. Mm -hmm. Come on, hands, we can do it. Right? Millie, Millie serenades us with the last wrap of the night. Who needs like chimes and crystal, you know, singing bowls when you have a squeaker toy? You know, some say it's the wind chime of the dog world. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, hey now, y'all get along. He's allowed a 
toy that is older than you. Oh, are they getting possessive over Z's teeth again? Yeah. Yeah, Z likes his teeth. You're out of frame. Okay. I'm also lagging by 15 seconds on the video. She is. Kelly is super sweet. And that's the thing is that, like, please don't ever, like, I'm not going to get mad if it's like, Vaughn, I don't like that rewrapping. <laughs> you paid me money. I want it to be perfect for you. There we go. Turn keyed that down. <clears throat> well, especially online where um, social cues kind of go out the window, I rely very heavily on folks being uh, pragmatically honest with me. Like, don't coddle me or anything. Because it's like I literally can't see you or hear voice inflection. So if you're like, yeah, no, that's fine. It's great. Right. Yeah, I know that's fine. <laughs> yeah. So it's... The way that Randy always put it to me is it's a... He's like, I'm thick-headed and slow. You have to be very, very to the point. <laughs> Don't be subtle. Yeah, do not be subtle. Don't be suspicious. 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 <laughs> and double checking on the size Kelly you wanted this to be a size 6 Yes? No, the other matter. Oh, okay. Sit down. No, no more Java for me tonight. I think three cups is uh, my limit. Because otherwise I just become like uh, exhausted but still high voltage. <laughs> uh, bye, Tammy Joe. Thanks so much for hanging out.
There we go. And size six. That sits much cleaner, especially on the back. Awesome. What do you think, Kelly? Awesome. Order up, honey. Last of the night. Alright, you gonna stop before somebody else? Yep. Yep. I am all finished. Okay, now is the goodbye time. So thank you guys so so much from the both of us. <laughs> so um oh, is that in order? What? It's not. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead and take those down off the website, babe. I'm done wire wrapping for for like a day. Um, <laughs> oh wait, no joke. I think this might be in order. Okay. Oh. Is it? Oh, it's yeah. Okay. Bring it on over. <laughs> what color is? It? Okay. <laughs> Liz says I didn't do it, I swear. Oh! <laughs> Y'all, this is amazing. Okay. It's the yellow flash one. Okay. <laughs> Flipping it back around. <laughs> oh, man. This is amazing, though. Holy crap. <laughs> Vintage bronze, you say? Oh, I think it's going to use up. I don't know if I have enough on the spool. Oh, I do not. <laughs> I guess I should have left my finger tape on. Now, do you want me to remove them from the website? No. I like money. <laughs> I know, but we've got that pork and the vegetables and everything. We're doing good. Go, 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 go. And another one. Let's see. I don't want to get ahead of myself. Lori? <laughs> okay. So this is going to be an eight and a half. It's vintage bronze and swirly. Five more cabs listed on the website if anybody wants to see me literally bleed out of my fingers. <laughs> poop and rage you look like you're full of poop and rage she's strong, no she's just standing there all suspicious like <gasps> no she's strong squatting <laughs> how many babe uh, have we like how what? if this is six so I've done 20, this was my 26th ring. So we started to 32. 32 and there's five left. 
So yeah, 27. Almost there. Close enough. Hey, Millie. You're such a good girl. I love you. I love your little face. Your little ears. It's okay. We'll go outside and play after this. I don't believe her, man. <laughs> okay, maybe take them off the website. I don't know. Eight and a half. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if we can Yeah, go ahead and pull them down, babe. Thank you. Okay, so we bring that around. Thread and through the back. <laughs> Listings have been pulled down. <laughs> Thank you to everybody who purchased from us this evening, who came in and hung out, who joined our channel membership. Like, there have been a lot of high and low points throughout our career, you know, being professional artisans the way that we are and YouTubers now, apparently, I guess. Like, that's a thing. It still feels like, oh my God, how is this my life? Um, Y'all make it possible. So thank you guys. Okay, this one's going to need a fancy wrap on his butt. Lori, are you in here? Laura Danforth. Yeah, which is straight cray cray. Like only 6% or so of our views are from actual subscribers though. <laughs> so I think people uh, subscribe and then, um, you know, and YouTube just stops showing them our videos. Well, I mean, yes, there is that. Yeah. Right on, Lori. Well, with the auctions, I don't have to actually make anything in the video. <laughs> so I just get to sit there and be like, boobity, 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 and like, just goof off and have fun. So. <laughs> oh, I, I don't know, Kelly. I don't know why it's like that. It just seems to be how it happens. Is Millie in there with you? Okay. Very suspect. <laughs> Do what, honey? Powering up for a strong squat? What I said. Yeah. I said what I said. Okay. So I'm going to try to bring this around and hook through here because I'm going to have to stabilize that wire to keep it from kind of slipping. So I'm going to do a training bend right here, and then I'm going to grab here, and I'm going to pull, and I'm going to continue centering around. I need to make sure that this fits. I may need to rewrap it. Eight and a half. Okay. So now I'm going to thread this through here. This one's coming out all weird compared to the other ones, Lori, but I think I love it. <laughs> I'm going to snip it about there. Well, this is our last one for the night, so I can put everything left in my tank in it.
Ooh. Cashew chocolate truffles ice cream. It's good. I bet. It sounds like it'd be pretty sweet, though. Like, uh, with sugar. what do you think tell me what you think ooh, ooh. good night Linda thanks so much for hanging out I like that slash <laughs> well, thank you so much, Lori. I'm glad that you like it. Okay, guys. I am exhausted. The little pity paws hurt. I'm going to go run Millie around the backyard with the fishing pole and the curler. Oh, I already put your chickens to bed. Oh, Randy, thank you so much. There's all five of them. He takes such good care of me. We will see you guys um, tomorrow at noon over on the Monster Vlog. If you guys want to see what we've been up to here on the homestead whenever we're not crafting. Um, and then we'll see y'all again in Monday shop update where I'm going to try to have some resin moons. Um, as well as possibly more ammonites and some different things. So uh, if y'all ever have any questions about anything, just send us an email. Uh, be sure to have left a comment on my, our shop update video from this past Monday to put your name in the hat for the, our upcoming shop update and giveaway. Um, and that's Monday at noon. And so, uh, I guess, until next time, you guys, thank you so much and happy crafting. Mwah! Bye! <laughs>